Hey, and we back, boys. Let's fucking go. What's up, my dudes? Four three France. Oh shit. Save Rock dies today. I don't know if we'll get that far, man. We'll do our best though. Yeah. BG one, buddy. Woo! We actually, believe it or not, we did not make a Zerker fucking mage this time. So we're doing things differently, boys. Not a problem. This is a wild and crazy stream here, lads. It's so crazy Omnian soldiers are attacking other Omnian soldiers. I mean, let's fucking go, dude. I mean, how more? Can you really get more hyped? That's my question. I think the answer is no. Fuck. Can I take off my armor? Ooh, let's go. Ooh, okay. Let's not go that far. Oh, wait. Hold up. I don't want you fuckers in combat. All right, there we go. Look at that quality animation cancel right here. Should have called him Sleeve McQueen? Shit. I'm here for the hyped up Berserker Mage? Oh shit. Well, I hope you're hyped for some Cleric Mage, buddy. Cleric Mage is even better. Always has something up his sleeve. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Damn, I looking stylish, dude. The way clerics look are actually fucking pretty sweet. Yeah, they actually look... They look in this thing more buff than they do for a fighter. But, like, and then in game, they're, like, extra skinny, so it's like, I don't know. And then they have, like, this fucking weird kilt shit. Let me take the shield off. See that shit? It's fucking weird. But it's all good, because... We're gonna fuck up everything. I don't mean like we're actually gonna fuck up. I mean we're gonna fuck them up. No, I wanted that one. Alright game, you fucking won this round. Making Edwin learn the only spell I actually don't need. And failing to learn the spell I really wanted to learn, but that's okay. It's all good, boys. Yo, you need to stop doing that, son. Wow, really? I took off everything with defensive spells? You'll be in a full female party by the time you get to spell hold anyway, so it's all Gucci. That experience from scrolls? I know what I'm saying. Pog chant, dude. Woo! It's like killing a knoll. Killing a gibberling is the same as learning a bunch of scrolls in BG1. Feels fucking great! Hell yeah, boys. Hell fucking yeah. I can tilt this down so you can enjoy my beard. Okay, that's that's the wrong way to tilt it, apparently. There we go. Now we can see my beard in all its glory. It's all its freshly clean and freshly watch, washed glory. Shit, I can't even tell if you can see it all. My fucking editor's garbage, so... Oh, well. You're only missing the tip, boys, so... Hey, what's up, Rangers? Who follows it going, my dude? Yeah, we back to the, we back to the gate, boys. BG motherfucking one. But we're gonna clear this shit pretty quick. We're gonna get back to BG two real fast. We're gonna go extra long and extra hard today, boys. Just like me. Almost impossible in Legacy of Ball. That would be pretty obnoxious. I think the key for Legacy of Ball is just to land some CC effects. But I know their saving throws are higher, so I guess that would be tough too. But yeah, sl sleep doesn't work, I don't think, because they'll be higher level. Actually, I don't know if Legacy of Ball does affect levels. Can't you still fucking sleep everything? Like, without any problems? You can still cast sleep on a Gibberling, even though it has, like, 80 hit points. Woo! Damn, just punching Vicky right in the face. Sleep doesn't work? Okay. Well then I guess you're gonna have to stick the whole person and other CC effects like that where you ba- Holy shit. Holy shit, that was close, boys. Holy shit, that was so close. 
Okay, I gotta be a little more careful. I thought we could kill that motherfucker pretty quickly, but uh, apparently I was mistaken. Alright, we don't need protection from petrification here. I'll take another sleep. I do want to keep my shield effect, and we'll go and pass this armor over to Kagan here. Oh, guess we'll pass it to Vicky. Since Kagan's worthless ass is a... Uh, can't, can't move his plate mail somewhere else. Alright, go and take a nap. Heal up our waifu here. I think we're good. I think we need more spells for this dude, don't we? Yeah, there we go. Should have taken a blind, but it's all good. It's all good in the hood, boys. Alright. Really need to get a weapon for Kagan. That's the first thing I need to do when I get my first stack of cash. I was gonna go buy some scrolls, or not scrolls, but uh, Kagan's axe from Bergos. And then he'll be able to uh, tear some shit up. Okay. I'm gonna scroll out just a little bit here. Okay, this is all the way in. So you wanna be like something like that. Maybe we can do a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, that's enough. Woof! I gotta be careful. Fucking, uh, these gnolls can actually kill people. Especially since, uh, these fuckers are wearing, like, leather. Monty's bitch ass is, at least. Okay. So far, so good. First pack of gnolls down. We should actually be able to use Edwin with color spray here. If I do it right... We can pull this off, and that way Edwin's spells aren't completely wasted. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That actually looks sick. Color spray is like a poor man's sleep, but it looks badass. So I'm almost tempted to let him keep one. Because let's be real, I mean, aesthetics are key in this game. Am I right, boys? Let's see if we can get it off again. Okay, that's not good. Woo! Alright. Okay. Okay. Should have two sleeps left. Really don't want Monty in melee here. Honestly, I don't want Vicky in melee either. I don't think they can die to a crit, actually. It's hard to say. You gonna do me like that, dude? Come on now. Come on, buddy. Alright, I guess I just used this last fucking sleep on him. Knock his ass out, man. We'll take a nap here. Since I have two sleeps left, we should be able to get at least one rest off. Hopefully. Fuck. I stand ready. Okay, well, that's not a good sleep effect at all. Let's try another one here. A little better. Still not great. So, well, if we can get this idiot who's still up, then we can start working on, uh... I'm not gonna have guys that are actually unconscious here. Holy shit. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have blown my sleeps. Man, our Thacos are some of the worst Thacos in the world, and I like that a lot. I like missing auto attacks every two seconds. It makes me feel good. Uh-oh, what happened? Nothing happened, buddy. We're just rocking out with our crockpot out, dude, in BG1. Oof, we made it. Got the rest off, boys. Hey, Donkey Kong, uh... Yeah. To be perfectly fair... And that run was, uh, as soon as we stormed the tower with the drow, that run was in serious trouble. We lost a lot of people. We lost a lot of people in the Underdark, boys. Let's just go with that. To be perfectly frank. Holy shit, he got it, Ard. Hmm. 
Fuck, that's annoying. Whew. Okay. Still using a Berserker? Nope, we actually switched it up this time. We're using a Cleric Mage today. We are going to be uh, trying some things a little different here. Personally, I want to do Berserker again, but I felt that uh, it was time for a change. Try something a little different here. I mean, getting not using a mage is... That's a bad thing, dude. Let's be real. I mean, it was either Cleric Mage or Sorcerer, right? So... I mean, we went with something a little different, right? Come on, buddy. What should I have done instead? Monk's right out. And then a pure fighter. We've already been a Berserker, so it's like... And Paladin and fucking Ranger are boring as shit, so what's left? Pure Cleric? Puke. Do you have your main in the back and be able to assist with the debuffs? Yeah, I mean... The biggest issue, honestly, is the fact that we're not going to have a hardcore fighter. Unless I go for Corrigan again. So we might end up doing that. We might be throwing it uh, back to the old school original all evil party. With Vicky, Corrigan, myself, Yan, uh, Edwin, and... Uh, who am I missing? Myself, Corrigan, Vicky, Edwin. There's one more evil motherfucker, right? Am I retarded? I guess I'm retarded. I could have sworn there was more than three evil people in BG2, but I guess I'm retarded. I know we get Serebuck later, but... Who the fuck am I missing in that party? Myself, Corrigan, Vicky, Edwin, Yan. That's only five. Huh. Is Viconia evil? What's up, boss hands? How's it going, dude? Yes, Viconia is indeed evil, my friend. I think she's neutral evil. Yeah. Sometimes since I played, oh shit. It's fun as fuck, man. It's one of my favorite games of all time. You ever grab short to you, and when you do, do you make her duel? No and no. If I ever pick up, uh... Corkin will be pumper killed anyway, even if we make our way to BG2? Hell no, nah, dude. We'll find a way to keep Corkin's face pretty, man. You just wait. Murder? She fucking had it coming. It's her own fault for being an invoker. Like, really? Who does that? Just found the stream, by the way? Oh, nice, man. Yeah, we stream Baldur's Gate every day here, my friend, except Sundays. Hope you're liking it, my dude. Um, when if when I do pick up Shartiel, it's because we lost Kagan and we lost Khalid. Probably because I kill Khalid every run. And Shartiel is probably going to be the next fighter I would use. She's not great. She's not a good tank. She's not even that great at dealing damage, although she isn't terrible. I mean... I would probably use her. I think she's the one who has the high dex. Let me get a check. Yeah, she's the one who has 17 decks, so I end up using her as an archer. If, God forbid, something horrifying happens to, uh, what's her names? Uh, Monty and Corrin, and we need somebody to use bows. Never tried or watched Hardcore, and I say pretty excited for watching. Actually, good shit, man. I'm glad. And this will be like my 12th run here. We haven't made it all the way to a Sun yet. In fact, we've only beaten Baldur's Gate 2 once, but we're getting pretty good at clearing BG1, so. I really need to get a sling for Edwin so he stops running into melee range like a monkey. Oh shit, I used hers. Okay. Keep him out, boys. Get shit on. Ooh, he's dropped some good scrolls today. Let's go. Yeah, we play a fun version of Baldur's Gate, that's for sure. <clears throat> oh shit, the Winter Wolf. Oh shit, that's not good at all. There we go. Cool. Come with me, then. 
Hey, Boss Hansa, thank you so much for the follow, dude. Bless you, my friend, and welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it here, my guy. Appreciate the support, friend. Yeah, I should have a... Ooh, I don't have a blind. I gotta switch that up. This is gonna be close. Let me go and pass my, uh... My belt over here to Vicky since she's tanking for the moment. Hit him with this, and then we can hit him with this. There we go, nice crit. Boom, baby, let's go. Give me that shit back. Great scrolls there, so I'll save some shit. Love how the fall give us still some random car crash. I mean, you don't want to fix what's not broken, you know what I'm saying, dude? I haven't decided what I should do for uh, the following shit. She could be a pretty good tank. I don't think we get the Girdle of Fortitude in BG1, dude. Let's see if we get them all. Looks like we got most of them. Eh, that should be okay. Go and knock out this motherfucker first. I don't remember if we're able to actually hold uh, Knowles or not, so let's try it and see what happens. Yeah. Pretty sure he's a humanoid. He should be holdable, right? Oof, got a good hit there. Let's go and split him up and see if we can't hit him with the uh, color spray. Did we get him? Nope, missed again. Come on, buddy. Just die. Here, we'll have Monty go and attack the other fuckers. That should work. Okay. We need a stealth on this guy. There we go. Alright. Should be good now. Hey, dude, don't sweat it, man. Don't sweat it. You do get a couple uh, potions of fortitude, but not enough to really rely on, to be honest. I want my mommy. I want my mommy. Bitch. Okay, what do we want here? Okay. <clears throat> we actually are completely out of commands, aren't we? So let's go and take a nappy nap. Do I have more commands? I do. Ooh, I'll take one. Oh shit, I, I reached level 2 cleric too. Holy fuck. Okay. Take a slance, a slow, and a chant. Did I do her level 2s already? I did. And those are good, and those are good. Alright, let's keep it going. Woof! Yeah, I mean, she's not terrible. There are definitely worse people to pick up and put in your party than Chartiel, but not particularly great. So. She is a backup if there ever was one. Oh shit, his uh, weapon broke. Oh no. Let's go and give Kagan the halberd. Get in there, buddy. Dwarves using a halberd looks hilarious to me. The thing is, like, literally twice his fucking size. He looks absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Looks like if he'd swing it, he'd actually fall over. Because it's too fucking heavy. Okay. Where'd my shield keep going? This is my brother. Crub. Okay, we got one held. Why is my uh, thing not going off? There we go. Yeah, let's go and take this dude while he's down. Perfect. Let's knock out Crumb's bitch ass. Got a monkey level. 
Oh, that's right. I want to go and put this shit back on, don't I? Yeah, that's actually worthless for me, but I think Edwin can use it. I thought it was funny. She hates men, but only join your party if you have one, right? That's the classic right there. Oh, we got a Kagan level. Nice. And we'll start putting these points in longbow, like always, from months around here. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that shit. I think Safana's the only other person who joins, only if you have a dude. Although I might be crazy. I'm pretty sure Safana only joins, joins if you have uh, another dude in the party. Okay. Make our way up to fuck up some X farts. So no camp is done. Oh fuck, I forgot my uh I forgot to get in my book of handsomeness. So I can go from uh five charisma to six. Woo! Upgrades. Well we can go back to town and buy my axe for uh Kagan at least, so I can also pick up some slings for everyone else in the party so that works. Frustrated sexual frustration explains everything, dude. You go and aggro all these fuckers so I can hit them all with that sleep. I don't want you to get hit. Okay. Spray off here. See if we knock out any more on. We got him. Nice. Okay. Fucking X words. This is where having a sling would be super fucking useful. bear out here and then we'll go and bust the bear's head in, hopefully. Oops, that's not good. Wow, you resisted everything. Wow. Best bear NA, boys. Holy shit, we finally got him. Biting seriously, you're streaming tomorrow gonna be hard? Oh shit, man. Yeah, P.O.E. is on my list. We're gonna be playing that sometime next week, maybe. Feel free to stream? Oh, I will, dude. Uh, maybe not tomorrow, but, uh... It'll definitely be, uh... Yeah. I don't know, maybe we might stream tomorrow. I doubt it, though. I like to have my day off now and then. And then also, the, the uploading shit to YouTube makes it impossible to stream. Maybe I should just upload after every stream. I guess that would make more sense, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Fuck, we got a party. I don't think I have any more CC. Damn, we don't. Oh well. Oh bitch, you are not my team. Can we uh, hold X for it? Let's try. Oh fuck. We're fucking him up though. As long as he doesn't turn to smack Vicky, we're okay. 
Stream tomorrow, have your day be off the 4th. Oh, fuck, that's right. I mean, I'm not really doing anything all day on the 4th. I'm just going to be uh, doing some BBQ at night. It stays day here forever during the summer, so... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, perfect. I got a wrist. Nice. Actually, will be kind of nice. I'll have so many spells. Unlike Aerie, I'll actually have good wisdom and intellect. So that'll actually be kind of sweet. And I'm kind of looking forward to this playthrough, actually, boys. I kind of am. Yes. Take his bare ass down. Fuck me, seriously? Get dropped, bear. Finish him off! Oh, we got his ass. He dropped. Oh, fuck. I think we can actually use the throw, right? What did I put my points into? Dart and sling? I'm a genius. Now that I think about it, yeah, there's no way in hell I'm meleeing on this dude for a long ass time, so... It kind of makes sense, really, that I would do that. Inventory management fog champ. Okay. Wait, I'm missing the ring in there. I gotta grab that shit. Czar's ring. Let's go, boys. Alright. We really need to get a weapon for Kagan, and we need to get some slings for everybody else in the party. So I think we'll just head up to Berghost and buy and drop off our garbage real quick. Hmm. Well, since I'm Chaotic Evil, that means that Edwin might not actually have an access to a Cloak of Protection. Yeah, not Cloak of Protection, a uh, Robe of the Evil Archmagi. I might take it for myself because I'm a greedy little bitch. Also means no berserk, so when it comes to confusion and shit, I'm gonna have to be using the green amulet, I think. That should actually be pretty interesting. I haven't had to use that shit in fucking years, so... We shall see how it goes. And I can actually identify stuff, too. So we don't have to worry about fucking... Paying money to these dicks. I can just ID shit myself. Alright, you fucking dwarf. Let's talk. Fucking Gert ruining everything. Cheap peasant runes, boys. Feels bad. Ooh, my shit's so high I can ID some shit by just looking at it. You know, we're taking the royal room this time. I'm done sleeping in peasant rooms, boys. I've had it up to here with that shit. We ain't no peasants. We sleep only in the best rooms. I always felt like if you sleep in too many peasant rooms, Edwin just leaves the party. I always felt that would make sense to me because he's such a fucking pretentious queen like that. What do you guys think? Okay, I think that's everything. My god, proud of a nice looking white princess, don't I? <laughs> All right. Who shows this? This is probably Kagan's. That's hers. Ooh, that's his. That can be sold, if possible. We really don't need the belts on anybody. I'm gonna take those gloves for me and Edwin. That's her Kagan. That's Edwin's robe. Nothing. Oh no, I see BG1. What happened, man? Yeah. 
But Dyrex uh, took out Eri. She apparently <laughs> was eviscerated by a sphere of chaos, which I didn't even know was possible. So that was pretty interesting. Yeah. And then uh, we lost two more people to um, House Gillette in the 50 million fucking drow inside. So it will be done. things happen, you know. Things happen. Shit, I forgot to relearn my other spells. What am I doing? Let me go back and do that. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's all good. We'll get back there. We'll get back to BG2 soon enough, my friend. I gotta sleep in the nice rooms now. I don't want to... I don't want to be sleeping in any filthy peasant hovels. We're too good for that. It will be done. At least we think we are. Alright, so Nira's dead. Need to buy the axe from Feldpost, pick up the slings and some bullets for everybody. And then we're good. I can actually use darts too. For some reason, I don't know why I put a point in that. But I can use darts if need be. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more yes. than that fucking scroll there. Alright, Chelsea Crusher and the Halberd should give me plenty of X or plenty of gold, not XP. Oof. Long day. Do they buy Nero's staff? He does. Nice. Let's go, dude. Buy my stolen goods. Okay. We're sitting on bank right now, actually. Holy shit. Let's go and put on Lord Foreshadow's ring. Let's see what we can pick up here. Definitely take a sling plus one for myself. And then we'll go and pick up some extra slings. We'll get one for Edwin. One for Vicky. One for Monty. And we'll get about, let's see, times 3 is 12, times 3 is 36. And we'll go get about 40 bullets. 40 sets of bullets. I'm gonna give these back to me. Get my new sling here. Let's see if there's anything else we can pick up real quick. I don't think there is. Yeah, the plate mails, the large shields. None of that's really useful at the moment. I guess we can go and get a large shield for Monty. I think we need one for Kagan too. That'll give him a little bit more defense against missile attacks. Yeah, he's using a small one. Okay. Then let's go grab his axe plus one and we're good. It was brutal. Yeah, I mean, it was my own fault. My own fucking fault. I I had uh I wasn't suicidal, but I was like at that point I was testing certain things and yeah. I, for some reason I thought I had my Zerk up, I don't know why. But I learned a valuable lesson. One, don't talk to Firecrack with anyone in the party. Two, Aerie is absolutely worthless as a cleric for most of BG2. Those two things are very important to keep in mind for this playthrough here. So, we don't have to worry about that. Hey, we're gonna switch up our party a little bit. Don't talk to Firecrack when you're ugly, ugly man. Come on, dude. It's not my fault I have low charisma. And don't kill Yoshimo. Good call. Don't kill Yoshimo. I forgot about that one. That was a good one, dude. My glitter dust. Alright, show me potato salad! Hey! 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 Perfect! That's exactly what I wanted to happen. The only one I failed was the one I had duplicates of, so that's actually perfect. Lit. No amount of magic will turn her peg, so I just abandoned her anyway. Holy shit, that's hilarious. I think he just needs to stop killing people in general? Dude, I'm an evil guy. I have to murder random people. What's my rep at? Can I kill somebody right now? I'm at seven. Who here needs to die? That'll show her who's boss. Ah, I feel better. I feel loose, you know? I feel good. I feel right, boys. You know what I mean? 
I feel fucking right. And I know everyone else in my party feels right too. They didn't quite get it. They didn't know why that woman had to die, but we appreciated it. They appreciated it. They're like, thank you for that. We all feel better now. The damn wild forest wild surge got airy? Holy shit. Oh no, Donkey Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong is, a. Uh... Donkey Kong is currently sleeping with the fishes. Why do you have the ugliest character in the party lead? Because I'm a handsome motherfucker when I got this ring on, son. Look at me. 20 charisma? I'm the most charismatic dude that isn't a fucking nymph. You hear me, son? Yeah, uh, I always add the character, do exclamation point, Donkey Kong, all one word. Every time somebody dies, I add the command with the clip so you can see it. Just don't take it off when you fight dragons. Yeah, I mean, it's a lesson we've we've learned the hard way. And what's absolutely, what the worst part about it is that happened before. A long, long time ago in one of my other playthroughs, like, literally... One of my first playthroughs that we got to to, to uh, Baldur's Gate 2, I talked to fucking uh, Firecrag with Edwin, Edwin Bale. And I was like, oh shit, I gotta remember that. Months go by, and then I fucking do it again. Shit happens, boys. Sometimes people just die for no reason other than the fact that you killed them. What can you do about that? Nothing that I know of. Why do I have an extra helmet? I have a lot of extra helmets, actually. Oh, it's in case one breaks, of course. That makes sense. Watch this bitch give me all her potions because I'm so handsome. Look at that shit. This gimme bitch. Hell yeah, dude. I'm actually the most handsome motherfucker on the short coast. There is not a dude on this planet that's more that's better looking than my guy. Only one that's even more attractive is the fucking dryads. That's it. That's it, boys. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like, boys. This is what peak performance looks like. This guy, right here. If he was a berserker mage. Instead of a cleric mage. And if he had better stats. And if he had higher charisma. Then, that's what peak performance would look like. Alright, what do we want to do, boys? I think we want to go fuck up some dryads. That's what I'm feeling. Basilisks are done. We can go screw some bandits, but I'm actually a little nervous because my dude has no fucking HP. Yeah, if we kill the ogre, that'll get me a thousand, which would ding me my mage right there. And I can start popping mirror image, and I think that'll be perfect. Because with mirror image, I should be able to survive uh, the bandits, no problem. Yes. Fuck, I feel so naked without my armor. At least I have more HP than Edwin, boys. What's my, uh, PC at? Four? So when I pop shield, I'm at, what, zero? Yeah, okay. Zero ain't bad. Ain't great, but it ain't bad. I can also go and buy a, a shield plus one. I keep forgetting that. This is the first time that my main character has used a shield in, like, fucking forever. I've been dual wielding for, like, the last six runs, at least. And dual wielding on a cleric mage is just retarded. There's no point. Your attacks per round are so fucking limited that even with improved taste, it's like, it's fucking a complete waste of time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get him, lads. Sling him. Yeah. Here's the thing I never got. I don't know why this happens. I don't remember this happening in BG1. 
But if you kill somebody with your sling, it resets the attack per round for everybody. So you'll notice where we literally just machine gun down four fucking gnolls in less than two rounds. We shouldn't have had enough attacks for that, but for some reason, when you use a ranged weapon and kill somebody, it resets your attacks per round. I have no idea why that is. And I don't remember it being like that in the original game. But it's like that in EE. And it's like that in BG2 as well. If anyone knows why, uh, let me know, because I'm actually kind of curious. Curious and curious. Alright, as always, Monty will be the man who gets the kiss. Smoochy, smoochy. Talk to me, bitch. I'm not talking to her with my dude. What a bitch. Vicky had to walk up and get a kiss because the bitch wouldn't even talk to Monty. That's some hardcore shit right there, boys. I don't even know what to say to that. Maybe she just really wanted to kiss Viconia. Possible. Take this dude down, boys. That'd be fucking mirror image again. Dude's a champion, really. <laughs> Rotating commands. No fucking save, no chance of escape. Feels fucking bad, boys. Feels real fucking bad. What do you even do to fight such nonsense? Oh shit. These are dire wolves, actually. Fuck, I can't afford to use a fire spray. Nice. Kagan in the slinging McQueens. That's what I'm saying, dude. The kings of cool. And the slings of. Cool. Oh, dude. Yeah, but you're not going nowhere. Boom, baby. Give me my XP. Mage spells. Level up. Mirror image. Let's go. Alright, we can't go any further south because then we run into the fucking ogres and we have no way to deal with them quite yet. I do have one Glitter Dust, but that's just not enough to actually take them all out. I suppose I could use a web, but I mean, I think it's just a little too early to be fucking with him. I think we're gonna go and dick the Sirens instead. So I do have Silence, and I do have some other good stuff we can use to fuck with him. Also, we don't have to worry about my ass getting uh, feeble-minded by a melee attack, since my dude's not gonna be anywhere near melee. You have been by oh shit, what do we get? It's a guest. Looking around like, oh shit, we got us a battle, boys. Eh, just kidding. Ain't shit. Not a problem. Okay, no spooky skeletons to stop us. Good shit, boys, good shit. Okay, let's make our way downtown. Try to avoid the filthy, unwashed hobgoblin plebs. Vicky is actually real close to unlocking her level 3 spells, which means we can start summoning skeletons too.
fuck do you mean my party's scattered? We're not even remotely scattered. You're scattered. Oh, shit. Ooh, that was almost a perfect color spray. I like that. So now watch this. We're going to all attack the same target right here, right? And when this thing dies, everyone's going to start attacking again. Look at that shit. Bam. My dude literally just attacked six times in six seconds. As if he had six attacks per round. No fucking idea. Is that an AD&D rule that I'm just not familiar with? If you kill something, the round resets? Like, I literally have no idea why it does that. Actually, yes, Thinking Cloud would be great. Correct, it's only for range, it's not for melee. Ah, fuck Kagan, you got fucking unseed. That's annoying as hell. Hmm. Not getting nearly as many people CC'd as we'd like to here. Kagoni here. Oh shit, let's not do this. Whoa! Easy, Kagan. Easy, buddy. Monty, did you actually just walk into the poison cloud? He's brilliant. Why aren't you casting hold on this jackass? I should actually be able to hit him with a command, shouldn't I? Yeah. What the hell? Can I get him unconscious? Looks like he's saved. Oh no, he is on easy CC. Good shit. Alright, let's try this here. Okay, we're down a siren. I don't know where the other one went. Alright, Kagan's no longer a threat. Oh, there she is. Hey, buddy. Take it easy, friend. Wait, you are attacking, right? Yeah, get her. There we go. Perfect. And Kagan's back up, too. We get that shit. Yeah, it's only range, not melee. Like I said, I mean, yeah, I'm, it's, it's fucking weird, dude. Why the fuck? Oh, I remember. I need. I do want that still. Shit. We can get a Basilisk ambush here. I don't know why we can get it on this coast, but we can. Oh shit, he has no more spells. We do have a horror, but I don't know if we really want to use that for the us. Yeah. So then they're just gonna run like little pussies. I'm running like pansy elves, boys. I hate those pansy elves. Okay. Hey, fuck the rest of them. Let's keep going. Should be getting pretty close. Ooh, 33 XP away, 300 XP away, 1600, hell yeah. Fucking love me some sirens, boys. Fucking love me some sirens. They're pretty. They give good XP when you kill them. They drop pearls. Their arrows sell for good money. I mean, what's not to like here? What is not to like, lads? See the pit crawlers? Nope.
Perfect. Well, not quite perfect. There's still one bitch casting way in the back there, but... Nice. No, it's perfect. She sees it. Okay, yeah, we can't even hit the bitch. Okay. That's perfectly fine. I think she might actually be too high level to even get hit with a sleep spell, to be honest. Okay. Kagan's got a super high save versus death, so he should be able to wait into this without getting too super bad. Alright. Alright, game, you bamboozled me again. What do we want here, lads? I think we're just gonna go with the flail, so we do have a melee weapon. I'm gonna go and. Let's see, she should be weapon. Alright, I think we're gonna take a remove fear here for sure. I'm gonna take another hold here, I think. And for her, we're gonna do. Definitely. No, we don't want that. Take another silence, and let's start taking animal blue. Perfect. We really need to move up to hit Cell, but I don't want to be walking into the poison cloud, to be honest. Wait, did Cell go inside? Let's check. Yeah, Cell went in the cave. Holy shit. Trying to charm a dwarf, buddy. Come on now. Look at those saves. You can't hit me with this grave. What the fuck? Come back. Bitch, where are you going? Oh no, your improved invisibility is gone. Oh, that's terrible. Oh no. Stupid bitch. Alright, what's our boys AC at? He's got destroy their hills. And if we give him the Anke plate. That puts him at let's see his combat stats here. Minus four versus crushing right now. With the belt. On top of his original AC, which is minus five. So that puts him at minus nine for crushing. So they'd have to get really fucking lucky to actually hit him. It's up, you have Mars. Is France still winning, buddy? Oh, I don't want my guy to run in. Let's uh, sl simmer down there, buddy. Come on, Kagan, buddy, you can do this. Alright, Kagan, you're clearly incapable of doing this. Holy shit. 26 damage, he's at 26 HP. Yeah. What did he roll the hit? 17? Damn. I don't think they have many attacks per round, but still. Francis won? Oh, nice! If you start exactly at the end, nice. I thought you meant, like, France was winning and, uh, yeah. You wanted it to continue. Good shit, my dude. Good shit, my dude. I knew I was gonna get the fucking carrion crawlers if I tried to sleep. Oh, what are you gonna do, boys? It's going home. Oh, shit. Whew. Oh, shit. Level for Edwin. I'll take it, man. We're doing pretty good, boys. We're doing pretty fucking good. Don't drop this. Take a blind. Actually, if I swap my shit over to blinds, I might be able to uh, assist my boy. Oh, wait. The flesh golems are basically me and the magic. What am I thinking? We're always about to shit all over Portugal and Ronaldo will be gone too. Oh shit. Yo, y'all hit this fucking bug up here. Kagan can't do it all himself, boys. We can swap this shit back. We're not gonna do double blindness. There we go. Alright. Come on, flesh golem. Come on, happy chicken, come on. Come on, happy chicken, come on. That's right, I can actually summon a uh, skeleton to help me out here. 
Can't hit the broadside of a carrion crawler. Fucking apparently, dude. Let's see. Anything we can do. Holy fuck. 34 crushing damage with that crit. Yeah, we basically have to pop a pot, otherwise he might get crit again and then explode. Actually, I don't think he's in risk of exploding, but he is at risk of dying, so... Nice! He's swapping to the Skeleton Warrior. Big mistake, Flesh Golem. Oh, wait, no. If he, he get crits again, then Kagan might die here. There we go. Now we're good. There we go. Good chop that, buddy. Her revenge for the Euro 2016 final? Holy shit. Fuck that reminds me, I gotta go down and get my charisma book. Don't wanna forget that shit. Ooh, we actually want this book right away, holy fuck. I forgot I gave myself only 15 constitution. Because 16 is the cap for everything that isn't a warrior. So, if, if you have 16 constitution and go from 16 to 25, with say a cleric or a mage, you get absolutely no change in, X, in uh, HP. Kind of annoying the way that works, to be honest, but... What are you gonna do? Boom, baby. Let's go. Let us fucking go, lads. Ah, oh, shit, there is one more flesh going in there, isn't there? Alright, let's go fuck him up real quick. Don't want to miss out on that juicy XP now, boys. Holy shit. <laughs> He's dead already, boys. Feels fucking good. Nice, Kagan getting the big rolls. One more hit, Kagan. Nice. Let's fucking go, boys. Where am I? Ooh, that was a terrible sleep. Let's see if this can actually go over the wall like this. This will be interesting. Wow, it actually works like that. That's fucking hilarious. To have the regen. Oh yeah, the, re the regen does work. You're right. You're absolutely right. You do get the regen whether no matter what class you are, but bonus HP only comes from being a warrior, sadly. Honestly, I'd much rather have the bonus HP than the regen. Although, the regen is definitely useful. If you're low on HP and you swap zones, all of a sudden you're full HP again, man. Shit's pretty sweet. I should have enough HP to go after the bandits now. And then we can go fuck up the mines, boys.
Magic missiles? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that's uh, Rage. We could do Rage real quick, I guess. Get rid of that five. Yeah, I'll hold off on Rage for now. Oh dear. That's a lot of Flynn's, boys. There we go. I stand ready. You are so irritating. Pretty sure I just told you to fucking shield yourself, my dude. Damn, look at all those spells already, boys. We got a ton. Cleric, mage with good wisdom and good fucking intelligence. 21 wisdom actually gives me a lot of extra spells, I'm not gonna lie. Then when you add shit like Machine of Lum the Mad, a couple other items, getting some extra level 5 spells would be great. Okay, gotta help Albert find his doggo, of course. It would be rude of me not to. Okay. Hello there. How are you? King's honor, friend. Yes. Oh, nice, we get the blind off. Ooh, sucks to be you, Vex. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh no, you got held. Oh, that's terrible. Jackass. We have darts here. See how useful these darts are. Oh yeah, I can't actually use those. I'll just give them to Monty. I think those are usable only by fighters. Pure fighters. Maybe thieves too. I just might be able to use them. Minus 2 AC for missile weapons is definitely nothing to sneeze at for sure. See how many mirror images I get? I only get three. That's fucking depressing. That feel when only three mirror images, boys. Feels good. Okay, let's see. We want to drop a blind on this guy. Let's drop a hold on this guy. Drop a hold on this bitch. And then let's charge in and give him the business. What did that fucker pop? Potion of defense. What a dickhead. Ooh, that's unfortunate for that motherfucker. Why is Edwin still not casting? No, he got stuck. What a jackass. Let's see, I hit him with a command, maybe. Looks like we got him blinded. There we go. Take his ass down, boys. Taking him to the cleaners, lads. Fake Sendai Pug. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Get shit on. Easiest fucking game of my life, boys. I'm kind of digging the fucking Cleric Mage right now, lads. Shit may change in the future, but I'm digging it for now. Digging. Digging. Okay. Oh, and here's our doggo. Take our doggo back to uh, our friend over there. Can I hold all these extra splint mails? I'll go and take them. 
You can always use some extra cash early on in BG1, that's for sure. Hmm. Just realize it's actually possible for me to throw full plate on myself and then just use wands the rest of the game. Because I can still cast all my cleric spells with full plate, I just miss out on my mage spells, so. Something I might consider doing. I do look good in full plate, too, that's for damn sure. Who's your fuzzy little guy? One shot of melee after being confused or something like that? I'm not gonna be anywhere near a confusion spell. That shit's gonna be hitting fucking Kagan's bitch ass, or... I wanna fuck- I'll find a way. Oh shit, I dropped my scroll case, what the hell? I hate the way that works. Alright, let's see what this puts us at. Uh, 16... 18, 1 to 3, 5 to 8. One attack per round, and this should give us three attacks per round, right? Yeah. Kind of inclined to use darts, to be honest. But, uh... I guess we'll just hold them for now, see what happens. Oops. Dead here. The arrows and Monty's inventory. I do have darts of wounding. Those are pretty good. Those are actually really fantastic. I never got a chance to use them because, uh... Baloth is the only one in the game that actually comes with a dart proficiency. That actually also brings something to the table. I can see a Melisande already. That's what I'm saying, dude. I tell you what, I'm calling it right now. I'm going to kill a Melisande with darts. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I'm going to kill a Melisande with darts, dude. Look at that shit. Look at that beautiful fucking CC. Between sleep and color spray, we're putting everyone to bed, boys. Tucking them in with our swords and our slings, you know what I'm saying? Sleep of the ages right here, lads. Go to bed, x -Farts. Lights out. Insert some other generic bedtime fucking line here. Get shit on. You just go with that. Just a simple get shit on. Nice and easy, lads. Nice and easy. Oh shit! That one Omnian soldier who's still been aggroed on me this whole time is still chasing me down. I like that. That dude is committed. Either that or he's just lazy, because they're supposed to be running from this bridge down to the Nashgale Mines. And that dude's been here for like a week and a half. Guess he's just a lazy bastard. Either that or he doesn't want to go to the mines. He knows what's down there. Death, so... Maybe he's actually the smartest soldier here. I take it back. I did him an injustice by too quickly judging him. My apologies, friend. Welcome to my humble establishment. Your business has been poor. Yeah, give me my wolf shit. Right. Go and pick up some large shield legs. One for myself, one for you. Oh, we can't afford the last one. Unfortunate. Then again, if we sell some of this other crap we don't need. Ooh, that was close. Almost sold the shield back that I just bought. That would have sucked tremendously, lads. Let's see, if I can just ID some of this crap, we'll be in great shape. I think we'll go next door and ID some crap real quick. Get some extra cash. Sell some of our goodies. The glory of Om! Oh, yeah, we're not even in Om. Um, fuck off, assholes. Shit, there's a battle outside. Oh, shit. Oh, we're getting more aggro on us. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're at 5 rep. Shit, that's a problem, actually. Yeah, they're actually attacking me. Fuck. We gotta get out of here, lads. We gotta get out of here before the whole garrison jumps us. How's our bullets doing? We're good on bullets. We do need to sell a couple more things, though. Yes, it will be done. Your business has been poor with the iron shortage and all. The customer is always right. 
Fucking right we're always right. Oh, I forgot about the Lorails. Well, that helps us big time with the cash. Shit, we can probably go up and buy, I think, a full plate from, uh, what's his name? I see you. Gonna take one more large shield for Monty here. There you go, buddy. We can actually swap this out too, I think. Yeah, he actually gains only one AC for swapping to the uh, Slim Mail and then losing the ability to detect traps, so that works out perfectly for us. Fuck, I had some more of those that I missed. Oh well. We shall identify them later. Let's head over to the mine, boys. Oh shit. Help me, soldiers. For the glory of Om. Every crime must be punished. That reminds me, let's go fuck up those flaming fist fuckers. Oh fuck, I've got one elites. Yep, Edwin got poisoned, of course. I was actually just thinking to myself, uh, what are the odds that I get hit and then get poisoned? Would be unfortunate, to say the least. Yeah, there's the attack reset right there. Super useful, to be honest, but it's still weird that it happens at all. Nash kills the last almond shuttle in the north, explain why Nuber is here. Sent here to have an accident. Right? Nieber and trade me Nuber and fucking Nash kill. Every crime must be punished. Oh shit! One sleep spell, boys, versus an entire flaming fist regiment. Sleep wins. These fuckers only get 15 XP per kill, though, which makes no sense to me. At least they're rocking the plate mail, boys. Definitely take that shit. Take that shit all the way to the bank. Hell yeah. Dude, we get the good RNG sometimes, boys. The good RNG that makes you feel good, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go see if we can buy that full plate before we do the mines, because that would help us out tremendously. And we can save that other full plate that we get from, uh, what's his name for myself later. Okay. Hey, 700 gold for killing those flaming fist pansies. I hate those flaming fist pansies. I feel this is my rightful place. Oh shit, I need my ring. Yeah. Hmm? I, I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit. There it is, let's full motherfucking plate. Put that shit on our boy Kagan here. Can make whatever you wish for Sell that crap. Move that back in my inventory. Yeah. Now we're ready for battle. Not a problem. Look at that full plate right there. Look at that shit. Look at it, and it's all its fucking glory. Look at those spikes on those shoulder pads, man. Hell yeah. Let's see how it looks on me real quick. Ooh, looking good on me too, dude. Look like a boss. Holy fuck. Alright. I gotta quit with this shit. Now let's go fuck up some fucking miners. Time to go fuck some miners, boys. After we fuck up these uh these guys first. 
Then we're gonna go fuck up some miners. Not that kind of miners, you fucking sicko. Just wow. I always forget if I can hit this dude with a hole or not, because he's a half ogre. No, he's not got that shit. Not with a blind, though. Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Like David and Goliath over here, dude. Just us and our slings. And Kagan and Melee. I wish Corgan was half as effective as Kagan was at being a fucking soak. This dude can just tank for days. Corgan just gets hit too damn much. Making our way downtown. That's right, we haven't got Varscona yet either. Definitely want to pick that shit up. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck, what am I doing? Alright, good. Didn't hit the wrong thing again. Felt fucking retarded every time I did that in the past. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh shit. Where'd you go? Look at him up here. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh shit. Guess you're going that way. Wow, this motherfucker is resisting everything. It's got some good ass rolls. There we go, good shit on Jackass. Alright. Starting to dig this stinking cloud shit. I think a web would be better though. Web is more uh, more reliable, I would say. Maybe not better. Because web, if you have free action, you're pretty much guaranteed never to get hit by it. And the saver spell for web is negative two penalty. I don't know if Stinking Cloud has a penalty or not. Oh, they get a plus two bonus. Well, it's the exact opposite of web. Damn. Well, Stinking Cloud is much, much worse than Web. What the hell? And Save vs. Death, you usually have pretty high, too. Yeah, 7 for Save vs. Death. Maybe that's why they felt like making it the opposite would be too, too good. I can see that. We can't put these things to sleep, sadly. Yeah, I need to attack to actually hit people. Fucking knew it. I go in. The, I get in there to heal. What's his name up? And then Vaconia gets her ass pounded. All right, game. All right. I stand ready. Come on, Vicky. I need you to be smarter than that, bitch.
Okay. There we go. Now we're battling. Okay, let's make our way downtown. Let's fuck up some ogres, boys. Fuck up some filthy tall people. The manlets will have their vengeance at last. Definitely want to go and kill the hobgoblin elites ASAP. Their fucking poison is beyond busted. Let's see if we can get the blind off. Oh, missed. Okay. Hold back a little bit. He's gonna be immune, immune to the unconscious sleep effect, so... Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can hit him with that glitter ghost. But we got a level for Kagan. Perfect timing, because he really could use some extra HP. We got him blinded. Alright, so that should help big time. Get him, boys. Blind doesn't just make it really hard for them to actually hit you. It also makes it easier for you to hit them. You get a plus four bonus to all your rolls. It's really fucking good to land a blind on somebody. Finish off the last Hobgoblin. And we flawlessly did a group of filthy ogres, boys. Let's fucking go. I stand ready. It will be done, mm -hmm. not a problem. Gotta see what the ogre. The berserker had dropped for us. Good shit, boys. Good shit. Let's go up here and collect our just rewards. I better the two anger. Usually says decently. Not a problem. I stand with ease. Yes. Yes. Oof, the big three hundo. The three hundred XP drop lads. Holy shit, that's a lot of wolves. We got most of them knocked out here. Good shit. There we go. Now we should start to chain after we kill this wolf. Perfect. Yeah, just sling him down, boys. Sling him down. You may not rest at this time. Thank you. I stand ready. There are enemies about. You may not rest at this time. Okay. Kagan's already sitting on 75 HP, so that's pretty good. Well on our way, lads. Well on our way. Shame the color spray is so bad compared to it looks so flashy. That's what I'm saying, man. Look at that shit. And it, it changes the color of the enemies you hit too, right? So it honestly it's fucking sweet. I'm literally keeping it just for that. Sleep is better in every way, and if I had a sleep scroll, I'd give it to Edwin and make him learn it, and I'd take that instead. But honestly, it looks so fucking nice, so I want to keep it. Followed me home, can I keep? I think it's like Chromatic Orb, Color Spray, and a bunch of other spells are absolute dog shit compared to other spells of literally the exact same level. But they're fun to use. And so they're actually... I mean... When I first started playing this game, I was like, man, if you take this spell, you're fucking stupid. Period. And then as you get older and you're like, wow, that, heck, that spell's actually pretty cool. It's not nearly as good as other spells, but it's fun to use. And that's all that matters, right? If you're enjoying yourself. Enjoyment is key, lads. It's key. Hmm? It will be done. 
you don't stare at that ding. I gotta, I gotta remember to use my identifier every, every time we take a nap. But see, this is shit that bothers me. I'd have the same HP as Kagan right now if I was a Berserker. Kagan has 40 hit points on me. 40. Not 10, not 20, but fucking 40. I have less HP than Vaconia and Monteron right now. Like, that is just... That is just unfortunate, man. Not just kill your enemies, but kill your enemies with style? Of course, man. That's the whole point, right? That's exactly the whole point. So I'm using Stinking Cloud. And I just crop dust the whole area and everyone passes out and then we murder them in it. What a way to go, lads. What a way to go. You ever gonna create a dwarf with 19 constitution? Maybe. We might do that for our next playthrough. We'll give the Dwarven Defender a try. I just can't stand it because it's so boring. Like, you get your weapons and then you're never going to upgrade them. You get your armor and you're never going to change it. And that's just like... Mage is constantly changing. Every single level you get something. As a fighter you get... Ooh, a Thacko. Wow. Wee. Super exciting. I mean, it's just... It's not nearly as fun. It's not nearly as fun, man. It really isn't. And yeah, of course, it's not nearly as good as some other shit either. Can you stop hitting me? I mean, look at that guy who got hit by the color spray. Doesn't he look badass? Holy shit, can you stop shooting Edwin? You fuckers. Yeah, dude looks sick. Yeah, I think Sorcerer is next, and then we're, uh, we'll try a fighter. But like I said, it's just it's so fucking boring. So damn boring. Enough bonus constitution bonuses, you get a mean region gone. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the thing is, that's region per fucking turn, dude. That ain't region per round. That's region per ten rounds, you know? Ain't that great, dude. It really isn't. Resting here is actually really dangerous because he might get a full kobold spawn. Alright, we didn't. We're good. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's just... I think with a dwarf you can get 19 constitution, then you get 20 from the book, and then plus 2 from uh, uh, evil choice in hell. And then you're sitting on 22, right? 23 is the next threshold where you get more HP. 21 you do get a bonus. But yeah, it's just unless you're actually sitting on like twenty five, the region really isn't isn't that good. And even then it's like what, one hit point every two rounds? The ring of regeneration is better than a dwarf with twenty five constitution. Twenty three with lump, that's true. But I mean like the ring of regener if if you were to use Ring of Gax, a ring of regeneration, a regeneration spell, and then the dwarf constitution, I could see you having fun with that. But like I don't know. That's one of the things I actually liked about the Fighter Mage Cleric, was you throw a regeneration on yourself, you max out with that, uh... Yeah, it's it's retarded. I think... I think 25 is 1 HP every 10 seconds. You have to check on that for me, but I'm not sure. I think it's 1 every 10, but even then, Ring of Regen is like 1 every... 1 or 2 per round. And then Ring of Gax... No, Ring of Gax... Fuck, I don't remember. Let me go look up. Ring of Gax is like ridiculously high. One hit point every three seconds, so two per round. Yeah. So stack that with a bunch of other shit, and, like, I could kind of see that being fun, but, like, even then. 24 with acts of unyielding. There you go. I thought the acts of unyielding was flat regen. Yeah, it's one at one per six. Yeah. So 
So one per six, three per six, four. Yeah, you're gonna regenerate like maybe if you're lucky, five or six hit points around with items and dwarven constitution. Yeah, let's let's pretend you're at twenty five. All right, let's just give you that. Let's pretend it's not one per ten, but one per six. A whole hit point per round. That plus ring of gax plus ring of regeneration. Plus all that shit, you're looking at five hit points per round. Which is a lot. In BG1. In BG2, not so much. Don't forget, fire giants are hitting you for 80 damage a hit. 40 if you have hardiness. I mean, you saw how quick my dude dropped the fire giants without stone skin up. You know what I mean? It's just... The regeneration spell is way better than all those items combined. And the regeneration spell isn't enough to actually offset the massive, massive amount of damage you'll be taking. So, it's like... Even if you stack them all, it's it's not great. Oh, fuck, he went right to me. Alright, we got on that one off... Uh... Did he actually pop his potion of freedom? He did, okay. We really need to get a blind off then. Perfect, blinded, let's go boys. But yeah, that was one of the things I like to do in my Fighter Mage Cleric. You take Armor of Faith, you take the Flail, Defender of East Haven, then you take Hardiness, and you stack that and you're practically immune to melee damage. Then you throw regeneration on top of it, and at that point, then yes, you're basically immune. Because what damage you're taking is being healed up immediately with a regeneration spell. That is great. I like that. But, if you don't have all those together, it's just, it's fun, but it's not like really strong. You know what I mean? It's a fun thing to do. If that's what you're saying, then yeah, I'm, I'm with you 100%. That's fun. It's fun. But it's not like, wow, this is super broken. But I agree with you 100% on that. Definitely fun. Every item that makes the game fun, I'm okay with you taking. Okay. Alright, I think we're about ready to go in the mines, boys. Let's go and do it up. Now we're at 6 rep peak. Fucking puke, boys. Fucking puke. Yeah, fuck. Damn, I might actually go back to the Fighter Mage Cleric. I might go back to the Fighter Mage Cleric later on. We'll see. You just level so fucking awfully slow. Ugh, puke. If we had gotten the Fighter Mage Cleric to throw in a ball, I think we actually could have gotten farther. Than our Berserker Mage, assuming the rest of our party members had survived. We might do that for the uh, the playthrough where they're less likely to get permakilled, so we can actually keep a party alive for most of uh, Shadows of Alm throwing a ball. I think we'll do that. Assuming we can get everything to work. I'm gonna go have Emerson let me in, and I'm not gonna be wearing my ring, and he'll get all butthurt with me. I don't need no adventuring fools wandering about to be mines. Literally here to help and save his ass, and he gets all butthurt with us. What about that garbage, please? Will you choose Disciple Dragon Kid for your Sorcerer? I think that gives you uh, an extra 2 HP per level, so probably. But, um... And the, the, the Dragon Breath innate ability is actually pretty good. It actually does a lot of damage. A lot more than I expected it to. But, um, I don't know, maybe. Losing an extra spell per level was tremendously bad to me. I can't stand that, so... I don't know. But keep in mind, um... If we do a Dragon Disciple, it's 1d6 plus 2 for 16 constitution. So we're literally going to be getting 8 HP per level. Which is fucking awful. Just fucking awful. Yeah, but Constitution still doesn't do anything past 16 unless you get to 20 for the regen. Who 
Which is a shame and stupid. I feel like that would have been a really cool idea. If Dragon Disciples got bonus HP to make them super tanky, and then they sack just a bunch of spells, I think that'd be fantastic. I'd love to play that kit. But that's not how they did it. If they give them warrior HP fighter bonuses, I think that'd be super awesome. And I think that would actually be pretty balanced, to be honest. They get a bonus to AC and an innate fire resistance. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. And the innate fire resistance is actually super useful. Constitution, not so much. The fire resistance, definitely. And the AC is okay, too. But yeah, I totally forgot about the fire resistance. That alone would make it almost worth it. Hmm. Maybe, we'll see. Like I said, I hate sacking spells for level. But we'll see what happens. We shall see. Excuse me. Never played it myself, don't really know. I tried out the breath weapon because I wanted to see how much damage it did, and if I remember correctly, it did a lot of damage. It was like a little fucking innate fireball ability, basically. It's pretty good. Motherfucker. Critical hit on my ass. What a little piece of shit. Fucking go bolts, boys. Yeah, I think I'm actually looking forward to uh, running the FMC again. But we'll see what happens, of course. The biggest problem with multi-class and even just uh, the dual multi-class, not even the triple, is you lose out on a lot of levels, which means that your stone skin's gonna last. Your stone skin will have so few skins, your mirror image won't last as long, your blur doesn't last as long, your spell immunity doesn't last as long. I mean, you lose out on a lot of fucking shit for not being a pure class, big time. Because even though mages only get to like 30, when you multi-class, your mage is going to get to like 20 tops. And that's for a dual multi-class, not even a triple. Triple, I think mage caps at like 18 or 17 or something. It's pretty bad. Although the XP cap will be removed with uh, the tweak pack we have on. It's still, it still takes a long, 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 long time to get there. Bypassing magic resistance. Nice. Maybe that's why it hit so hard. I remember using it on Firebead at the very beginning. I just made a character E, keepered some extra XP and shit, and hit pretty hard. It hit pretty damn hard. Motherfucking Cobalt trying to lure me across the traps, boys. I ain't falling for that shenanigans shit. Get him, boys. Get him. But we can experiment with some other shit. I'm definitely down to uh, stay away from the Berserker Mage for a little bit and see how things go. Definitely want to do uh, the run back with the FMC. And I definitely want to do a Sorcerer sorcerer run as well. I think we'll do the Sorcerer next, because that's what I said I was going to do last time, and then we'll try the FMC again, and then we might go and uh, try Druid at some point. I'm actually curious to try a pure class Druid, because I can hit the 3 mil uh, benchmark before we actually get to uh, throw a ball. 
and I'm curious to see what uh, see how that would go. Fucking up these kobolds today, boys. Let's go. Even the filthy kobold commandos ain't got shit on us. Getting a lot of fucking swords to carry around now. Here, you hold on to these for me, buddy. Thanks, friend. We'll save our identifier for when we kill Mulahay. That way we can ID the ring and pass it over to Vicky right off the bat. Yeah, they have 1v6, so you're getting 8, 8 HP per level from the 6 for the roll and then 2 for the constitution. So you're basically getting the HP of a cleric, really. Actually, no. More of a thief, really. Yeah. Because cleric's 1d8 base, and then you get 2 for constitution, so... You're getting the HP of a thief, as opposed to a mage, which definitely helps. 2 HP per level is going to be about 18 extra HP, which isn't bad. Having an extra 18 HP is definitely nothing to sneeze at. Because then when you add your familiar on top of that, it's a pretty decent chunk. Still not as good as a fighter to mage, though, that's for sure. You gotta think about it. A fighter to a mage is gonna have literally double that HP. Literally double. Holy shit, I'm gonna die. Ooh, that was spooky. Okay. Just still a wanderer in here. Two kobolds running around, and we're good. Like, right there, I literally got dropped to half HP in one fucking auto attack. One fire arrow almost killed me. If I had been hit again, I actually would have died right there. And we're not level 1. We have 18,000 XP. We're level 4 cleric, level 3 mage. That to me is fucking crazy. Fucking kobold almost killed me. That's why I'm not confident about this run. I'm like I said, I'm not a big fan of the uh, the cleric mage. It's too squishy for my taste. But then again, like you compare that to say what a fucking uh, 
A fucking sorcerer? 1d4 plus 2? Holy shit, I actually would have died. Let's see. Edwin's got 24 HP. I would have had like 4 HP left. 4 HP. If I was a pure sorcerer instead of a cleric mage. Because cleric mages at least can wear helmets, dude. I voted three, remember? You voted for fucking nothing, dude. Three wasn't even an option. Let's see if I can scroll up and see what it hit me for. Okay, now it's too late. It was too far up. If that thing had crit, and I was a sorcerer, I actually would have died right there. Because that had done 1d6, would have done 12 damage, plus the 2d6 fire. Yeah. I actually would have died there if I was a sorcerer. I voted archer. Yeah. I would have been an archer if I could still use my bow after dual classing to a ranger. Or to a uh, cleric. That sounded super fun to me. Being an archer that uses cleric spells. Super fun. But uh, we didn't have that option, unfortunately, boys. And I guess your best wasn't good enough. Let's see if we can turn a bitch. She's pretty high level now, so she might be able to at least fear them. Yeah, we can fear them. And how much she likes her now? I can't say it. Yeah, I haven't said it. <laughs> I'm not crazy with the cleric mage at all. I mean, I like the spells, but I hate the squishiness, man. There's got to be a happy medium between the two of where you're like, where you're balanced between having fucking, can't fucking see me, it's annoying, where you actually have a balance between fucking squishiness and the ability to cast spells. I don't know. I don't fucking know, boys. What do I know? Nothing. Wait, why can't I be seen again? Fucking camera's killing me, boys. Oh shit, that's a fucking okay. I like the fact that I have a shield and a helmet. That's what I like the most about it. I do love a good bit of BG1. Hell yeah, who doesn't, my man? Now do you just like better just run into melee and get my let's get real quick? Good shit, Monty. Okay, let's at least give you a real sword there, buddy. Oh, right, Monty, I gotta go and pass this shit over. ID this shit for my wife over here. Give her some extra spells. Give her another cure. Take another chance. Definitely want another animate dead. Okay. Hey, what do you get hidden by? Oh, uh, more skeletons at the top. Alright, can you stop getting hit now? Let's see if we do anything. We do have a glitter dust here. Let's try that. This should help us a little bit. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. Cleric Mage will pop off eventually. Once I get to uh, having multiple spells for. Once I hit the caps where I start having both level 7 cleric spells and level 9 mage spells, then I can start sequencing cleric spells together, and it starts to become pretty sweet. We just gotta get to that point, that's all. Oh, Vakoni is the best cleric in the game by far. She's uh, She comes with 50% magic resistance, and she has decent stats. Dex is great. Only thing that's low is her constitution and her strength, so she's pretty good. Blind just hoping that wouldn't happen. I think Monty's gonna get pummeled if he stays in melee range, so we better get him out. So we try Glitter Dust, see if we can hit him with that shit. And Monty, you're done, buddy. Hmm. Big of Roof Fighter, it's a. Dave, what are your computer specs? I thought I had them on my uh, page. Let me go check.
probably shit, you're right, I don't. I could have sworn I put them on my page at some point. Uh, I'll grab those for you. I know I saved those into a text file somewhere on my computer. Uh, when I find it, I'll put it up. Oh, shit. Alt tab, please. Uh, when I find them somewhere, I'll put them up for you, buddy. When I take my uh, first break to collect my thoughts, I'll uh, look for them on the computer. I know I have them saved in a text file somewhere. Should we get another on -cake? Actually, I don't want you in melee range, buddy. Filthy fucking bugs, boys. Definitely want to rest before we leave because we can start getting the ambushes now. Time for some hmm? What is it now? Oops. Let's go and murder these fuckers real quick before we go. Look at the green ogre bodies, the ogrillians. I like that so much, dude. Hell yeah, spray boys. Okay. Not a problem. Yes. Fuck me, dude. How many do we have? I'm at six rep right now. I should not be getting this many fucking aggro soldiers. All I did was hit him with command! Fucking now the other fuckers are gonna aggro on me. That's some dumbassery right there, dude. Fuck. They're all mad at us, boys! We gotta get out of here! You're being armed to death, lads. We're being gloried by arm um, right now. We gotta get the fuck out. Stop right there, criminal scum. I think your rep should go up when you kill Nuber. That's what I think, boys. Alright, let's see if uh, they jump us. With ease, hmm? okay. No, yeah, we, uh, we ended up... Uh, I think I played too carelessly. Fuck, are they all actually going hostile on me? Fuck me. Hmm. There's so many fucking aggro guards right now. Oh, let's go, boys. The first hold spell. That's the dream. I'll get shit on, jackass. Yeah, we gotta go and pass all this shit over. And then we gotta get the fuck out of here. Dude, Rasad, seriously, just like, fuck off. Don't have time for proverbs, buddy. Let's see if we can hit him with a sleep. Yeah, they're both slept. Fuck! 
the other one turns on us. Okay, I don't want to play with you guys anymore. I'm done, buddy. I'm done. Don't have time for your shenanigans anymore. Holy shit, man. Fucking Om and the glory of... I'm getting attacked by the soldiers. The other soldiers are murdering the soldiers for attacking me. I help the soldiers who are helping me, and then they turn hostile. What's up with that shit? Not a problem. I'm trying to do you guys a fucking favor here. Ridiculous, boys. Great game logic right there? That's what I'm fucking saying, dude. That's what I'm fucking saying. Not the brightest bulb in the box, dude. They're a couple... Couple corn dogs shy of a picnic, if you know what I'm saying. And then we accidentally, uh, say some... Oh, we're despised right now. Shit. Okay. Fuck off this asshole. You got things to do. Suppose we could take one dude, that one dude's body, up to the uh, friendly arm. That could give us the rep we need. So it's possible we get fucking flaming fisted. Because we are despised at the moment, boys. And that would be unfortunate. I personally don't want to get fisted by the flaming fist. It's not on the list, it's not on my to do list. It's on the things I don't want to do list, actually. Yeah, Fucking Samuel and Lena. Samuel deserts the flaming fist because his girlfriend told him to. I think I'm coughing up so. Okay. Can we actually carry him? Oh, we can. You should know. <laughs> Shit. Every crime must be punished. Fucking Judge Dredd LARPers, get out of my face, dude. I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that crap. I am the law. Alright, I think we're good. We just gotta make it up to the friendly arm without getting jumped by the fist. Correctional fisting. Correction, correctional facility for the Flaming Fist. I guess it would make more sense if I said the Flaming Fist Correctional Facility. Either way, I don't want to be there. Alright, we're risking it for the biscuit, boys. Really hope we don't get jumped by the fist. If we do, this run's almost certainly over. I'm risking it because I kind of want to reroll. <laughs> Holy shit. That's it. What's the difference between a long sword and a short sword? No oh boy. I'm all ears, buddy. Let's hear it up. Lay it on us. You are welcome here in Garvel Glittergold. Garvel Glittergold site. I can't wait to see what the answer is. One is longer than the other. Ooh. If only you could transfer his body with you to BGG, then Edwin or Yan do some experience, get some cool necromancy spells. Pretty much have half more there. <laughs> Running around with Monty, Valigar, Agefield. I'm going to carry all of them around. I'm going to have at least four spaces in my backpack are going to be bodies or body parts. 
You think about it, if we grab uh, Kangax's body parts, you can grab the Rikshasa head, Monty's body, Yoshimo's heart, fucking, you basically have, you basically have a fucking medical facility in your fucking backpack. Only transfer one character hated that? Really, if you do a custom party, you can't bring them all? That sounds retarded. I never knew that. I never tried, of course, but still, that's interesting. Thou hast found me. That's weird. Spare body parts shouldn't be at risk for poor death. Just use an organ transplant, right? That's what I'm saying. Definitely would make things easier. Holy fuck, we're back in the middle of Nashgal voice. This is a mistake. Fuck me. Fucking Omnian soldiers, boys. I like how Oblik and Minsk are just chilling. And then the soldiers, the two soldiers are fighting each other. I just. I don't get it, man. I don't get it at all. They're actually killing each other. For the glory of Om, as they just murder each other, man. And I watch them die, and then I lose rep for it somehow. That'd be perfect. I'm curious. I want to see it happen now. Show me that rep drop. I want to see it. Fuck my reputation, boys. Death broken weapon. That's what I'm saying, dude. Fuck all the fist. I think they actually killed them both now. Oh, there's still one more. <laughs> he literally his weapon broke in combat, so you can picture one dude punching the shit out of another flaming fist guy who actually has a sword, who then runs him through. I'm sad I couldn't have seen it in person. I just have to imagine it up here, boys. Fucking quality retards, man. They're actually retarded. Dumbasses, man. Holy shit. Where do we want to go, boys? I don't think we're... We're about ready for the fucking Berserkers, but I don't know if we can actually do them. We're gonna go for it, though, because we ain't... We ain't no bitches. Kagan's got 75 HP, so he can take two hits with a potion. On um, BG2, they don't break. It's only in BG1 that they break because of the Iron Crisis in Nashko. So you don't have to worry about that in Baldur's Gate 2, my friend. Yes. Not a problem. Okay, so I'm about 6k away. Monty's getting pretty close. Any doubts about the complete dictatorship the temples are running? Just think about how you can kill every citizen in the game. Give them cast this temple and the people will ha hail you as a hero. You're right, you're right, dude. The temples are the ones who actually run shit, man. They're the real fucking uh, proletariat here. Or the bourgeoisie, fuck, whatever. Not the proletariat. I don't fucking remember. Fucking Marx and his fucking shit. They're the elites. I'm good with that. The elites. Who truly run things. Kill all in the temples? Well, unfortunately, we kind of need them. Otherwise, I would. At the end of this game, I'll go and murder all, murder all the temples. We'll do that. Right when we're about to do Saravok, where there's no coming back, we'll fuck up all the temples. We'll fuck up all the, uh... We'll fuck them all up, boys.
Let's see if we can hit the Berserker here while he's actually webbed. We should be able to land every attack on him for that. Perfect. Nice and easy. Perfect. We don't actually want to send uh, Kagan in until... There we go. Make my weekend a lot better? I'll do it for you, buddy. Holy shit, I actually ran out of uh, bullets. Where are my darts at? I know somebody was holding my darts for me. There's no darts. Dart them up, boys. Fuck him up, boys. Just darting him in the face, lads. Easy. Okay, good shit. Donate the remaining $60 for the body pillows and I guarantee I'll do it. Oh, hell yeah. Shit, I'll do it twice. I'll do it in my next playthrough too for that. Alright, let's get some more points and find traps here. Yeah, I really should make a habit of murdering the temples. I feel like when you kill a temple uh, leader, you should drop all the money you donated to him. Like if I donate 25,000 gold and then I just stick him right in his chest, I should get all my money back, right? Because he should still have it on me. Read more spells and shit as well, learning what they do. Yeah, dude, definitely read all the spells, man. A lot of them are super specific. A lot of them were taken straight from D&D, &D, right? So they're very, very specific in what they do. I like one like this, Burning Hands. It actually tells him how to fucking cast it. It literally says the wizard's hands must be held so as to send forth a fan-like sheet of flames. His thumbs must touch each other and the fingers must be spread. Like that, like that literally took like someone like 10 seconds to write, right? But there's just that little extra little bit of flavor text. Just it makes it feel like more realistic and detailed, you know what I mean? I know that sounds kind of stupid, but like little things like that, those little touches, I really like. They take so little time to do, but they... They give it a lot more oomph. You know what I mean, boys? I like it. Me likey. Alright, I think we got all the signs here, boys. I think we landed my sleep, actually. That's pretty good. Not often you get a perfect sleep. Usually getting just one siren with your sleep spell is an accomplishment. Getting two, that's lit right there. Good shit. Alright. Left our booty. It's so weird, like, that uh, arrows of biting actually sell for more in BG2 than they do in BG1. No fucking idea why. Okay, nice. Dude, it's it's really it's really I like it a lot, dude. I really do. Holy shit, where are we? Oh shit, Edwin, get out of there, buddy. That's the one problem with the uh the color spray spell is uh you have to stand still to cast it. Sleep just goes off instantly, color spray, you have to stand there, hold your hands out, and actually, you know, hit him with it. That kind of sucks. Is that this is the first time you're a cleric, so you're reaping the benefit of the system? That's true, I don't have to worry about resing my party members anymore. I can do that shit myself. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I definitely will be keeping the stone skin for myself, but that just means I'm going to have to play safer with Edwin, that's all. When you can do with magic, I'm definitely using more mages for now. Oh, yeah, mages are fucking so good, dude. Mages and clerics in BG1 are just fucking incredible, really. Oh, shit, he's dead as fuck. Well. Unless I can get a command off here. Oof, we got it. Normally just use clerics, really? And mages are, uh, mages are this shit, my friend. And it's not just BG1, BG2 too. Mages are fucking solid. Sleep is... This spell is just so fucking good, man. Let me see here. Minus three penalty, save versus death. And it hits everything that doesn't have more than five hit dice. It's just so incredible. So fucking good. Because almost every monster in the game doesn't have more than four hit dice. This works for literally... All these areas sleep hits. Yeah, that's true. I, I would agree with that. I feel like... Up to a point. Because the original Conjuration spells in Baldur's Gate 1 were fucking beyond busted. I mean, that dog had it coming, dude. The original Conjuration spell summoned literally armies of monsters. Like, I could have a couple mages, both all use Conjuration spells, and I could sit back and go AFK, and my monsters will literally kill Saravok. I could li literally summon, like, 50 kobolds to go fight somebody. It's it's beyond ridiculous. Be Alright, I think we're gonna go head over to Durlegs now, boys. The EE changed that, because the EE is using the Baldur's Gate 2 engine, so you don't get to summon nearly as many. But when you first get those Conjuration spells in the original game, holy fuck, man. Yeah, the Djinns are really fucking strong with SCS. The Afridi and Djinns are really good. That was honestly one of the reasons I struggled so much with the Drow Room, is we didn't really have uh, somebody who could focus on them. I mean, I was basically the only fighter in that party. Running heavy fighter actually really makes melee a lot easier, and running heavy uh, melee makes mages a lot easier. Let's see, how are we doing on bullets? Ooh, everyone's real low. Okay. Alright then. Yeah, the skeletons are pretty great because they have a lot of resistances to physical damage and they also have magical resistance as well. So the skeletons really kind of take over as the, the go-to summon in Baldur's Gate 2. In BG1 they're okay, uh, especially once she hits her uh, threshold. I think it's uh, 7? I think it's 7. Yeah, 7 she gets the higher level one, which comes with magic resistance. Shit's super good.
Skeletons are weak to crushing damage, correct, but most enemies are going to be using swords anyways. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. They're not, like, super weak to crushing, but they have a lot of physical resistance to the other shit, and they don't have any for crushing. Holy shit. There we go. Like, we CC'd every single one of these motherfuckers from 100 to 0. Half of them didn't even get a chance to move. And clerics can't do that shit. Clerics aren't bad, they just don't have that much CC. Oh, to be fair, I did use a cleric to drop an AoE silence, too. So. Nice, looks like I can actually ID most of this shit. And we'll just go and load Monty up with all the crap we've actually ID'd. Pick up the rest, and I think we're good to go. So we just want to make our way over to the Durlax Tower so we can fuck up the Basilisk and get some more XP. Love playing those when I was growing up. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I really enjoyed the Dark Alliance games. A lot of people didn't, but they're... They're not like Baldur's Gate in the sense that it's a big RPG, tons of quests, every single person has something interesting to say. It's not like that. It's more like Diablo where the combat itself is a lot more interesting and dynamic. And, uh, yeah. Try to emulate them. Never played them. I want to hear good things about them. Never had a console. PC Master Race. Holy shit, you missed out, man. Consoles are uh, the shit. Holy fuck, I forgot about this ambush. Fuck, it's the bad one, too. Oh, shit, this is annoying. I don't have a mirror image, either. Fuck. Okay, we got one of them cleared. Who's the other one going to? It's impossible to say. She goes to me, I'm gonna have to pop an invis spell. Did I cast a spell? Do I have... Okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Manira's going after Edwin. Holy shit, this is an excellent place for me to die. Or for Edwin to die for that matter. Yeah, we're gonna have to pop our invis potions. Son of a bitch, that's super annoying. If we don't pop these potions, it's very possible that Edwin or I can explode. Yeah, peak. Help is out. Holy shit, we're all dead. And the other bitch is going in to fucking drop arrows on her. Well, this is annoying as hell. The other bitch is still fear, but I don't know if we actually have enough to get ourselves out, really. 
Yeah, not much we can do. Uh, so I guess we can tr maybe go for the uh, stuns with the mod here. Probably our best bet. Wow, Vicky got help. That's impressive. Okay, we basically got everyone paralyzed, but that bitch is still stealth. And that's the real issue we have here. Oh, the slaves are through the roof. I don't know if the fucking skeleton can even be paralyzed. Yeah, it might not be able to. Okay, the horror effect just wore off. So the first thing she's gonna do is go for Edwin. But only thing I can do really is just oh wait, she's going for Monty. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay. Well, the skeleton's actually gonna murder everyone in the party, but we should actually live. Oh, let's see. I need to Larlox this bitch so she doesn't get chunked by the skeleton. Oh fuck, my paralyzed wore off. Well, that's terrible news. In that case, I need to go for the skeleton and get him off my dude. So we can get Edwin to start uh, using his wand again. No, they're just not having it, it looks like. Well, that was annoying. She got a sanctuary off. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Don't throw a blind on the bitch at the bottom. Of course she resisted it. Why wouldn't she? This motherfucker won't get off me. So damn annoying. Yeah, I gotta paralyze on the bitch again there again. Go and finish your ass off and keep coding everyone around. I don't think uh, Lamala has any more spells left. Okay. I don't know why her sanctuary is still up. She's been swinging at me for like 20 minutes. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. What a fucking battle, boys. Very unfortunate. I should have been thinking about the fact that we were going to get jumped by the ambush. And I clearly was not. Holy shit, now he gets off Edwin. Literally was chasing Edwin around for a good three minutes. Fucking ridiculously wild, boys. Whatever. That's what we call a goddamn shame, boys. Okay, we did manage to kill everyone, and nobody was permanently killed, so I guess that counts for something, right? Edwin also already has his level 3 spells, so we can go and pick up Skull Trap. That's pretty good, right, lads? Not a problem. That's gotta count for something. Alright, let's see what we can pick up here. Well, we want to get to the good shit first. We're definitely not going to have enough room for everything, sadly. Um, we need to get the potion case up right away, for sure. Ooh, 
Where's the potion? I guess there it is. Okay. Fuck, we had really needed to sell before this. Man, we're gonna lose a lot here, let's. That is a fucking shame and a half. Holy shit, look at all those items. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. We can't even equip the arrows. Fuck, that's so damn annoying. But I can't ID those, really? Oh, Edwin's trying to ID them, that's why. Okay. Hey, sorry guys, this is gonna be a... This is gonna be a hot minute. While we figure out what to do with all our items here. Start dropping the shit that we don't need, like the crappy helmet. You are so irritating. Anything that can be put away, definitely want to pick up. Those are probably the cheapest thing in my inventory here. Let's see what's probably the cheapest thing here. Probably the gloves. We can put the belt on that, we'll save us some more room. What is it now? That ring. Okay, there isn't much left. There isn't much left, boys. Okay, so it looks like we need to pick up one, two items, and then we're good. What else can we drop, but What else can we drop? I know for a fact we need this. I think losing this helm is actually the best choice. Anything else you guys can see? That needs that in our inventory down here that we can move somewhere else? I don't see anything else. Because neither of us can use the arrows, and these are actually expensive. Okay, lose four bandit scalps, a couple arrows of biting. Wait, do we have arrows of biting in our inventory somewhere? Okay, we don't. Hmm. We lose about 30 arrows of biting, and I think that's it. Oh, there's another longsword plus one on the ground. We can't store anything in the tomb because we can't come back here to pick up the rest of this stuff. That's the problem. Once we leave this area, all of it's gone forever. I think putting this on and then dropping my traveler's robe is actually the best thing here. Because this longsword is worth more money. And then I think that's it, boys. We lose Eyes of Truth, one robe, about 40 arrows of biting, and a couple banded scalps. So that's not the end of the world. I stand ready. Not the end of the world. Hmm? Neither of us can equip swords. I'm a cleric mage, and Edwin's a pure mage. Yeah, both our both our hands are being taken up right now. These darts sell for 500 gold. The dagger sells for a bunch of money. The sling plus one, I don't want to lose. That's the only one in the game for now. Otherwise, I would consider dropping that. And nothing can go on his helm. No other rings here. Yeah. Basically stuck in that regard. Hmm. 
Venom's mm -hmm. got a lot of heavy shit in his inventory. I think we got this button here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to do this shit. I stand ready. I could put that in mind, but I don't see how that would still help, to be honest, because we don't want to drop either of these things. If we get ambushed, holy shit, I would actually cry. Ooh, he made it. Oh, thou wonder. Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. Alright. You just gotta make it in there and start selling some crap. Now, oh, fuck off, Flaming Fist. I just need to rest. No. Oh. We can't walk out of town to rest either because we might fucking get jumped and die. I mean, it's possible that the dude's actually inside. Let's go and check. Oh, he is up. Okay. I can make whatever you. All right. Let's see what we can get rid of here. More than me competition. We can only sell two long swords. Well, technically, that should be enough to. Uh, Pick up the full plate. We should be able to walk over to Temple without getting ambushed. Then drop the full plate on the ground, and then I can walk inside and get everybody res, and then we can come out and spread everything around. I think we're good, boys. We're good. That was really unfortunate, but we're good. Holy shit, what a pain in the ass. I love it so much. I fucking love it, boys. Don't touch me. I'm super important. 2400 gold to res my party now. It will be done. 2400 gold to res my party, boys. Feels fucking. Feels real good. Okay. I stand with thee. Yeah, I think we're good. Hmm? One thing that does suck tremendously, we ended up using a fortune because of um, how many charges we used on our Wanda Paralyzation. I'd really like to have that later in the game, but we didn't have a choice. We had to blow it to save ourselves there. So that kind of sucks, but aside from that, I mean, what are you going to do, boys? What the fuck are you gonna do, lads? I stand ready. Definitely could have been worse, boys. Definitely could have been worse. Can I assist you? Steve McQueen, I thought it might be you. I gotta take my armor off, dude.
is. Okay, we rested the fuck up, boys. Ah, oh, fucking damn it, it's still nighttime. Alright. Alright, game, alright. Wait, how the fuck is anyone have 20k XP? What do I have? Oh, I have 24. Okay, I'm retarded. They should honestly st pay Steve McQueen to stay at their innocent of charging. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm a famous fucking actor. Yeah. I've been in everything, boys. What's your favorite Steve McQueen movie, chat? I'm going with The Great Escape. I, stand ready. Huh? I actually like that movie for reasons other than Steve McQueen, though. Charles Brunson was my bro. That guy was my guy. And they had fuck it everybody in it. Richard Attenborough was in it. Holy shit, man. That movie was legit. Yeah. Great Escape was a kick-ass movie, dudes. If you've never seen it, y'all should check it out. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Yeah, we got money now, boys. That's right, I gotta go and bust out the rings. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Okay. I can make whatever you wish for a I just gotta buy some slings, lads, and then we are on our way. Oh, Edwin already had his. That's right. Oh, we got a dagger to sell too. Fuck, I forgot I loaded extra shit up here. I think that was it though. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than me competition. Oh, that's right, this dude doesn't even sell five potions. All right, boys. We're back. We're fucking back. Fuck off, little kid. Get out of here. Call me smelly. You're a smelly little kid. Get the fuck out of my face. All right, we made it to Durlag successfully, boys. Let's go. All right. Let's see. We want to drop one of these. I'm going to get a bless up in this bitch. Take another nap. Perfect. <clears throat> I stand ready. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Perfect. And by perfect, I mean fucking perfect, boys. Let's go, Les. Let's fucking go. Get this battle horror up in here. Ainsley's ghost still haunts this place. If you listen... You can hear his voice on the wind saying that really fucking killed me. That's fucking bullshit. 
There's something in there. Uh, he says something like that. Oh wow, we actually got the blind off. Nice. Fuck, I accidentally cancelled the spell by casting the exact same spell. Holy shit, we're getting chunked by this battle horror, boys. Sure would be nice if I had a berserker here to help us fight, right lads? Oh well, you run them all. Ooh, holy moly. We could kind of get Monty in here, maybe. For all I know, Battle Horrors are actually immune to piercing damage, though. Even skeletons will help. Like, you'd let the Berserker go in? I always had the Berserker go in. My Berserker ended up tanking these fuckers. When I have 75 hit points wearing full plate of my Berserker, I go in on every fight, man. Five minutes away for the target. That's what the cleric mage is doing. My berserker went hard, man. Berserker always went in. I think my dude had like 60% of the fucking kills in the party. Something insane like that. Holy shit, we cannot actually kill this thing. I know it's immune to command. All undead are immune to sleep effects. Lies, bitch, please. Holy shit, we did it! I stand ready. What a battle. Yes. Yeah, I fucking soloed all the dragons and then I went hard on my Zerker. I went hard, styled on them bitches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's it. I don't fight people who aren't worthy of combating me. Wow, I actually got the flat blind off right away again. Getting super lucky with our RNG here. Damn, dude. Chunked. Pure speedy currency, dude. Let's go, man. Yeah, I don't- I don't- I'm like Saravok in that regard. If they're not worthy of me killing them personally, I'm like, whatever, man. Somebody else can do that shit for me. Ain't interested. Ain't interested in such nonsense. Curious how you imagine dragons SOA or the Cleric Mage? Well, I'll give you a clue. It starts with K and ends in Oregon. And me not fucking getting anywhere near that fight. I mean, I could still go in and tank with fucking Iron Skin and Mirror Image and all that shit. When on my Cleric, once I get Aura Flaming Death, that actually helps a lot. The Cleric uh, HLAs are actually really good if you're tanking. Yes. But, um, obviously it would take fucking forever for me to get there. Get my priest spells now. I want to remove paralysis on both of our guys here, so if either myself or Vicky gets stunned by one of the ghouls or gas, we can get it off pretty quick. I stand. It will be done. But yeah, my dude will mostly be, mostly be a melts minute meteors kind of guy. You're not going to see me meleeing often, and we will be going much heavier uh, fighter. Uh, honestly. I know we want Corgan. We'll probably end up taking Mazzy too. And then we'll be running with Edwin, Vicky, and Yan. Is what we'll be doing with. We'll go pretty light mage early. And then once Throne of Ball comes around, then we can swap over to Saravok and having Aerie in the party. And if something terrible happens, then we might get Keldorn in there. But for the most part, we're going to be running with at least two fighters. If I'm using a Cleric Mage as the main dude. <laughs> Zero damage to the warden at the prison. Nah, we'll be good. We'll be alright. Most important thing about it that's really nice of being a cleric mage is I won't have to worry about not having chaotic commands for the party. Because that was a big fucking deal. Getting 
fucking CC'd all the time was really what screwed us in the end. And that's a spell that should be up 24-7. This is a terrible position right here. Okay, now they're coming down. Finally. The kidney just getting torn up up there. Oh, wow, she doesn't actually have the strength to fight that shit. That's funny to say. Oh, fucking AI is off. I was like, what the shit? Why is he not doing anything? Let's pull him away from the entrance, then we can take everybody upstairs. There we go. Perfect. Edward in melee range. That's what I like to see. Fucking Kagan is just getting his ass pounded right now. And not in a good way, boys. I need to get a blind off on a couple of them here. I think we actually got the blind. Listen to us just what I hope to start. Hey man, I'm glad. I'm glad, dude. I hope you enjoy it, man. I hope you kick some ass, dude. I believe in you, my friend. I believe in you. Yeah, I won't. I like. I don't think I've actually ever tanked the warden on my character, even when I was a berserker. I always had somebody else do it. There are certain fights that even it doesn't really matter who I am. I'm not fucking going anywhere near them, and the warden's one of them. I really need to go get Edwin's level 3 spells. I don't know why I didn't do that when I was over there. Because he's had them for quite a bit now. And I actually always have them before I even come here. It's kind of silly of me. Well, I hope you kick some ass, dude. Hope you kick some ass, my friend. Yeah, I think we'll do Sork and then we'll do uh, Fighter Mage Cleric will be the next runs. And then I'll try a Pure Druid. I've been thinking about doing a pure druid for a while now. When you summon a skeleton to battle the skeletons. We'll scale these. Wait, what? Get us from the other side, lads. The ultimate furry. Yeah. I don't know if we'll be doing a shapeshifter. I really want to have a helmet. Wait, Cern does get a helmet, doesn't he? I don't remember. I always forget if shapeshifters get helmets or not. Yeah, me and Jahira shape-shifting to animals. Getting it on in the woods. I don't know about that, boys. Maybe, man. Who knows? Come on, Kagan. You can do it, buddy.
Okay, you can't do it, buddy. And now I know you definitely can't do it, buddy. Holy shit, Kagan, please stop it. This is too expensive. Can't afford to let Kagan walk up like that. Oh, wait, what the hell? Wait, I just got hit. Huh? Rolls and he hits me twice. Anyone else see that? That's a little fucking weird. How the fuck doesn't this dude still see us? Okay, I was about to say. Get out of there! Alright, one's down. Alright, see what we can do here. Fuck, we might as well just rest, I guess. Of course we're gonna get the ambush, why wouldn't we? Well, my sleep had nobody there. I like that. Yeah, she has shield bash, and what was I thinking? Okay. Now Kagan will be at full HP when we rest again here. Of course there's monsters again. That's a good sleep RNG at least. Get them boys. The motherfucker didn't even give us decent XP, that's the best part. Alright, now we're full HP. Okay. Let's go. You got this, Kagan, old buddy. Yes. You get in there and you let him have it. Where the fuck he went? There he is. Blinded him again right off the bat. Like that RNG is fucking hard to get. Like, he died in two seconds this time. Why the fuck was that such a challenge a few minutes ago, boys? That's my question. That's my fucking question. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll fucking take it, boys. Yeah, come on, guess. Let's go. Come on, buddy.
No way we can actually turn these guys. There we go. That's how we do it, boys. Oh, we got a Vicky level. Take another animate dead. Alright, Monty, go uh, do your thing, buddy. Bust open the traps! <laughs> I think we do have to rest again real quick to get that stupid nausea off of, uh, off our boy King, and then we're good to go. Where are we at? Extra more petrification. A chance. And it left, and then he's off. There we go. Let's go chop up some Basilisk, boys. Because you're the only fighter in the party, Kagan. That's why you. Exciting shit right here, boys. It's like it's like grinding in RuneScape, where you just sit there and fucking watch your dude swing and swing and swing. Holy fucking moly! This is a lot easier when I do this on my guy. On a guy who actually has decent strength, unlike Kagan. Holy fucking moly. I'm actually- I actually don't think we have enough protection from petrification to do them all. I think we actually have to go back inside and rest. Holy shit, Kagan, can you stop? This is the greatest greater basilisk that ever lived. Last six slashing damage. Holy fucking moly, dude. He dropped the tear deck list. I take everything back. That makes the entire thing worth it. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Holy yes, shit. I see. Not a problem. Hmm? Well, sir. Go press what someone else. Get. Oh, get yes. it. Actually ridiculous, dude. Right. Hey, Kagan round two, buddy. Let's go. Rev it up, buddy. Let's go. Chick, chick, chick. Now oh, we get a doppelganger right here, too. Those fights only happen in BG1. Yeah, that's true. You never really see that shit in BG2. Two people just swinging at, her, at each other and absolutely nothing fucking happening. Still, it's fucking painful to watch. Maybe I should have just, uh, taken two protection from petrification so I can throw it on myself. At least I can go up and hit him with a command or something, I don't know. Kagan's got high mastery. He should be hitting pretty fucking often. These things have dog shit fucking armor class. He's got 12 with his high mastery. Oh, he doesn't have high mastery. He just has mastery. Alright, well. And he needs one more level for high mastery. I'll take it back. I overestimated uh, Kagan's abilities here, boys. It's not his fault. You are swinging and attacking, right? Holy shit. 
Yeah, I really miss my dude being a fighter, boys. I miss it quite a bit. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Where you going, son? Oh wait, Kagan's actually gonna die. Gotta be a little careful now. Holy fuck, are you serious? You're losing to a greater basilisk, man? Holy fuck, dude. This motherfucker, man. This motherfucker right here. Bless your chant, I mean... At this point, we should be good. There's, there's no way we lose now. But still, holy fucking moly. Holy shit, he was right here, too. I'm gonna have Monty go up and uh, loot the loot the shit on top here, just so we don't forget to do that shit later. What a fucking battle, boys! What a fucking battle! Truly a battle for the ages here. Holy shit, man! Fucking Kagan. Corgan. The thing is, like, Corgan may not be as tanky, but Corgan actually does work when it comes to doing damage, man. He'll fucking chop your ass up, dude. We'll see what your guts be looking like. Fucking Kagan, though. All right, man. You know what? We did it. We killed it. I'm. Oh, we are actually super close to our next level. It's nice. And we'll go and pick up a uh, Bailoth, and then our party will be completed at last. At long last, boys, we will reveal ourselves to the Jedi. Not a problem. We shall finally have revenge. Holy shit! I'm gonna go grab a drink, boys. <sighs> collect my thoughts real quick. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If any of you are new here to the stream, hit that follow button down there at the bottom. Greatly appreciated, my dudes. We'll be back in just a moment, and we'll continue on with the Baldur's Gate 1, guys. Thanks for watching.
Okay. We back, boys. And I updated my uh, page so it has the PC specs on there for you, buddy. Now, this is actually an old PC that my brother had that he gave me. He was a hardcore fucking uh, dude, so... It's a pretty awesome computer, I'm not gonna lie. I never could afford this shit myself, that's for damn sure. Yeah, it's pretty fucking sweet though, man. I am a lucky fucking dude, that's for damn sure. Okay. Alright, I think we're gonna set what we're doing. We're gonna go pick up Baloth, right? Yeah, I think that was it. <clears throat> okay, let's go do that. Pick up our boy. Our blue boy. So now we have our blue boy and our blue girl all in the same fucking party ready for battle. Oh, that's right. Ed, uh, fucking Zara's coming to talk to us. So we can't actually sleep here because Zara is actually way up there walking down to us to try to talk to us. Holy shit. I forgot about that. Poor Zara. If you listen closely, the wind sometimes carries his voice. Stop touching me. Your voice is ambrosia. Or is already dude? Hmm? We always want to drop an armor spell before we sleep here, because if we get jumped by bandits and they all shoot us, we actually just die. Twould be unfortunate. Oh, we're good. I see you. <clears throat> okay. Let's go find Baloth's bitch ass, boys. Oh shit. Get some dread wolves here. I like dread wolves, they give good XP. Nice. Edwin, please, come on, buddy. Let's settle down here, my friend. Damn, dude, trying to cut Batonia up, boys. Look at that crap. Can't chop up my wife, who? Fuck, you think you guys are? That's right. We lost all our bandit scales from earlier. Forgot about that shit. Wah, wah. It will be done. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. All right. What the fuck is this thing? Oh, it's over here in a shit. Yeah, here it is. All the fucking gibberings. There you go. Feel the power. I'm here. Click me. There we go. Getting some good RNG with these sleeps here. Putting all these little motherfuckers to bed. Collect all our loot. There we go. Alright. Let's get the best addition to the EE in our party here. After we go through 10 hours of awful dialogue. <clears throat> Great idea, by the way. It's about time you came through for me. I was beginning to wonder whether you were Unskippable cutscenes. Woo, Pog Champ. Oh, God. Greetings. No. Oh, I forgot. Oh, you must be my human. I do not think you can 
Holy shit, we finally got him in the party, boys. Let's go. Okay. Take this shit, this shit, this shit, this shit. And we'll go and give him nothing. He doesn't deserve anything. Get rid of that crap. And... Alright. Let's get it on, boys. Let's do it up. <laughs> zip it up and zip it out. <laughs> Porcelain bowl. Fucking porcelain. Fucking porcelain, boys, am I right? Alright, let's see. Getting lucky with our naps, I like that. Make our way up to Pelt Vale here. Fuck, we really should go and buy some shit, huh? The dogs, kill the dogs. Yeah, we get a little for Kagan here. Now he's got high mastery. Let's go. 90 HP, good shit. I think someone else was close to, right? Monty. 11 XP away. Delightful. Uh, I think we actually want to go back to Durlags and buy a wand of fireball here. There we go. Can't remember if this is a good one, right? Okay, this is a good fireball. Not good for Agonizer Scorcher, though. Okay, what else does this asshole sell? He bought, sells darts, I can actually buy some for this idiot here. That way I don't have to go back to town, which would be nice. There we go, that works. Got that shit there. I think everyone else is good and ready for battle. Holy shit, I'm retarded. We never killed Transic, so we gotta go back to Bear Ghost. Whoops. Mistakes were made, boys. Mistakes were made. On the plus side, we got a haste spell now, so... We can move our asses quite quickly to and from our destinations. Look at that speed, boys. Ooh, I missed you, haste spell. I missed you a lot. Feels good, lads. Feels are real good. It will be done. You won't miss me. What do you I stand ready. Let's go fuck up transit, lads. This is the dude with the best rolls in the fucking world. I always forget this. I have no fucking idea how, but this dude literally resists every and all CC effects. Hey, what's up, dude? Sorry, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna fuck up your name here, my friend. But welcome, dude, to the stream. Yeah. That's a good one, buddy. That's a good one. I don't want to butcher your name. I normally will give every name a try, but that's a... Uh, yeah. Holy shit, Transic's a beast! Alright, he's down, boys. He's down. Let's go. Nice, he actually wrote it, too. That's right, actually, Bailout has a ton of level 1 spells. We can just pass this shit over. You can ID everything. It's Meat Flower with Motor in English. Nice! I like that, buddy. Hey, what the hell? Oh, shit! Monty's helmet broke. Alright, well. 
I have to go and pick up another one of those. Good shit, man. I don't know, Transic's a fucking speed demon, dude. He came here to fucking race, man. Go speed racer, go. Alright, yeah, let's make it over to the smithy, buy another helmet for Monty. Let's head up to the bandit camp, boys, and fuck up some bandits. Are we actually gonna get a storm again? Holy fuck, man. Just one day, I'd like to have a Florida summer day where it's not stormy. I should not see That'd be pretty sweet, boys. Not a problem. Especially in late game when you can just project the image of Buster for an improved haste, protect from magical energy, and level of protection from energy using several images, pretty sweet with brutal accuracy. Yeah, it does sound pretty good, doesn't it? Not a problem. <clears throat> One power with stone, you're pretty much dead. Yeah. That's what free action's for, right? Fuck, I always forget this asshole doesn't buy this shit. Where's my helmets at? There we go. We'll take two. Can't have too many helmets, right, boys? I stand ready. Okay, let's make our way up to the bandit camp. Oh, shit. Get out of there, friends. They really don't have any decent AoE spells right now, aside from Fireball, which it's hard, but like... We don't want to be dropping that shit until we have some more resistance on Kaven. Reminds me, I actually need to go to High Hedge and buy some level 3 spells for Edwin. Because right now he's got the Skull Trap, so that's it. That should be okay. We gonna throw up our armor spells. In case we get hit by the Black Town Elites, those motherfuckers are hard as shit. You get over there? Alright, carry on. We'll be over here. Pretty much, man. Pretty much right now, dude. Not a problem. You got that shit right, buddy? Okay, good stuff. I hear hobgoblins, but I don't see hobgoblins. <laughs> Oh, Black Talons. Actually, I should have plenty of fireballs, so let's just do this. That one, please, that's the wrong way to go, dude. Fuck. There we go, get shit on jackasses. Fuck the Black Talons, boys. Fuck anybody that uses magical arrows. Fuck these hobgoblins coming in, too. Fireball is so fun. Wish my fireball and wow hit like that. Is bad boys. Think your mages are sexually attracted to fire? Who isn't, dude? Or male a sorceress, a second character, and take him along a BGT so you don't need much? Yeah. I was considering that, but I think that's. I don't know. <clears throat> we shall see. That's right, I need to put my charisma ring on here, otherwise, uh, Tezok wants to fight me. He doesn't listen to me, boys. Try kicked him in the head till he was dead.
All right. We're in the bandit camp, boys. Let's go. Let's actually go and give uh, one potion over to Bail off so he's at full HP. There you go. I don't really like having more than one custom character than me, neither. It, it tracks her in the game so much. I like the unique voices. I like the interactions, the bants. I like the characters to be unique. And I especially hate the fact that there's only one voice that doesn't drive me absolutely insane. When it comes to custom characters, they're all just fucking horrendously bad. Soul immunity conjuration when fighting mages or demons. What do you need conjuration for? Or oh, are you talking about the power word? Okay, let's go and fuck him up, boys. You are so irritating. Is there really no one else you can bother? Hmm? Right there, give me power. You, you talk at me? Whips for days, boys. And there's still one motherfucker over there hacked who's not web. What's up with that shit? There we go. Feel the power of the webs. Get shit on. Power does not work and carries not any more HP, and you'll never get 90 HP if you're a sorcerer. Even with uh, summon familiar. You're 1d6 per level, and that only goes up to level 9. 9 times 6. What's that? 54. And then you're basically going to get 1 HP per level after that. Be capped at maybe 74. Plus the familiar gives you another maybe 16, putting you at 90. I mean, by then, you're okay. But you'd have to be mid-20s to be good. In Throne of Ball, mid-20s to be good. I mean, Super on Twitch seems to love that voice. Male 002. Are you talking about BG1 or BG2? Oops. Oh, the BG2 one? Yeah. Oh, the BG2 voices are just fucking horrible. BG1s aren't great, but they're not nearly as bad as BG2 in my opinion. The only one that's remotely decent is the one I pick every time. No one is more worthy. Okay, I think that's it. Yes. I stand let's go and check out our loot here, and let's go money go and find that trap. Source would be pretty sweet to have. Yeah, like I said, I mean, we'll be, uh, we're doing it our next playthrough. If we get killed, we'll do into Sorcerer real quick. I mainly play with Tutu. Sorry, I forget that the voices are different. Yeah, I... I don't remember exactly what drew me drove me insane about two. There's something I really didn't like about it. I think it might have just been because I had the original Baldur's Gate one at the time, and so playing Baldur's Gate one with Baldur's Gate two actually kind of annoyed me. 
the way that you were forced to um there were mods to get around it but you're forced to play bg1 with uh the very specific specialization so as opposed to having large sword specialization which worked for long sword bastard sword and two-handed sword you're forced to pick one which meant that you were absolutely screwed when it came to most weapons and that was fine in BG2 when you get so many proficiency points, but like... BG1 that fucked you real hard. If you didn't- if you didn't already know which weapons you were gonna get in BG1, playing it with a BG2 engine and being forced to be specific, it just ends up screwing you completely. Really annoying. And then all the other spell changes that were just, you know, whatever. Tweaks Anthology lets you use BG1, yeah. I, I know the uh, mods let you do that, but... It, like I said, I... I don't know. I didn't like it. And I wasn't as big on mods at the time, either. You're not taking Steve McQueen down without a fight. Be the best longsword fight in the world, but completely suck with a slightly larger bastard sword. I mean, I get how, like, it's heavy and it's different, right? But, I mean, still. This didn't make much sense to me. Though, so. I love this bug so much. I've I've actually haven't seen this bug happen in forever, so that's interesting. Oh man, I wish I knew what does that for no reason whatsoever. Our character dies somehow, or not even in combat. And fucking the death screen shows up, and every one of our characters is dead. So it's like, what the flying fuck, dude? What the actual flying fuck, boys? Let's go and start laying down the webs. Yep, here comes the storms outside too. Good shit. Really can't see where the rest of these fuckers are. That's someone else you feel this way. Okay. Storm every fucking day, pretty much, man. Looks like they're all isolated over here to the west. Got a couple over here, but not many. Yes. I stand with these. Hey, 
Got a shield there for Edwin, that's nice. Okay. And the bandit camp is down, boys, and I am webbed. Feels fucking good. Good shit. <clears throat> pansy elves. Fuck pansy elves, am I right, boys? Yeah, I'm right. What ended your earlier run? Um, a lot of fucking drow murdered my party. Aerie was disintegrated in a sphere of chaos when we fought Dyrex the Lich. And then I ended up dying to a confusion spell with a bunch of Glebrezus. And, uh, yeah, the drow uh, party at the fucking bridge that leads you out of the Underdark. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Absolutely nothing could have prevented that. Nothing whatsoever. Wasn't my fault in the slightest. Shire looks upon us with favor. That's you. Yes, it will be done. Nothing troubling you. Okay, I can get the cloak work. Good. Let's go ahead and go to Bergos real quick and unload all these uh fucking bandit scalps here. Hey, but we learned a lot there, run. We learned that don't talk to Firecrag with anyone in the party, and we learned uh what was the other thing? Aerie's absolutely worthless as a cleric early. Those are two really important things that we learned. Which is good. Oh shit! Our rep is so low that- and our charisma is so low that she turns hostile and attacks us. Man, motherfucker. And your crimes will be punished. I feel like going back in there and murdering her. What do you guys think? Should we murder Officer Vi? Should we just go on a rampage and fuck up these assholes? That's what I feel like doing. And that's how I got barred from that town? Hell no. Not a problem. All the commoners don't seem to mind. Alright, we're getting our revenge. This bitch, we go and do all this shit just for her. What does she do? She does this dirty. I don't fucking think so, woman. You want to party like that? Let's fucking party. Filthy bitch. Oh shit, this is the real flaming fist now. Alright, we gotta go. Sorry. Woof! Do it, Anakin. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling like. Shit. Life force theme? Now let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, we fu we got we got Officer Vi at least. Alright, we're despised. Two rep. Feels good. 
Absolutely loathed right now. I, stand it will be I like that. Fuck them all, dude. I'm sad I couldn't have killed more. We'll go and kill some more later. We'll free the slaves and then I'll, everyone will like us again. Wow, he's such an amazing person. Dude, he killed like 50 people with Nashkill and Paragost. Yeah, but he gave some money to the temple and then he was like, you know... He, he freed people, so... Oh, fuck you too, man, dude. What do you want? Damn, these motherfuckers hit hard. This dude had like 1400 gold on, I'll take it. 50% chance of flaming fist spawning, yeah. Unfortunate to say the least. Flaming fist are fucking pansies. Uh, I am the law, I mean, fuck you guys. We're not bad people, we just don't feel like we should be forced to pay so much money for cable. That's all. This is all a big misunderstanding. We're having a pers perfectly rational conversation about why I'm charged so much for cable internet. He said something, I said something, all of a sudden he's dead and I killed him. And then the flaming fists take everything completely out of context. And all of a sudden, I'm the most wanted man in the sword cast. I mean, these things happen, dude. You know, I got a question. Why is it that the Flaming Fist will kill me on sight? But Neb, the dude who murdered like literally 30 children in Baldur's Gate, was actually locked up and put in jail. Can someone explain that to me, why I deserve a death sentence for murdering a few people? And to be fair, all of them deserved it. But fucking Neb gets a nice cushy cell, and nobody seems to mind. That shit doesn't make any sense to me, boys. That shit doesn't make any sense to me. Neb has six characters, man, you have five. <laughs> that explains everything. Holy shit, that's it. That's it. Neb is more charismatic than my guy. Yes, with ease. If I had my ring on, none of this would have been happening, right? Holy fuck. Why do I, live in such a I like that, dude. That one feels bad right there, dude. Holy fuck. When Neb the child murderer is more charismatic than you are, so people are okay with him, but not with you. Eternal sadness.
Hmm. Oh, wow. He actually sells the good protection from fire here. Holy shit. I should learn that now so I can take it with me to BG2. Oh, the dream, dude. Also the dream. Why do I live in such a pissant town? Fantastic. Let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Okay. What do you Yes. I stand ready. It will be done. Holy fucking moly, these space fighters, boys. Oof. And it did. I'm getting real close to another level, too. Get my mage level so I can get some. Ooh, shit. Hold up. Get some level 3 mage spells on my guy, finally. And I'm finally at the point where I can actually walk in and start meleeing shit. I have decent HP now. I have more than Monty if I throw Larlox up, so that's pretty good. Fucking Nev is more charismatic than I am, so that's why he lives and I don't. That's the shit right there. Okay. I'm just gonna quick save every couple minutes here. Cause it's pretty dark outside, boys. Pretty fucking dark, lads. Ooh. You can hear that shit now. Wait, hold up. Where's the goodies? Why are there no goodies here? That's weird. That's never happened before. Literally never happened in any of my games. Where you come down here and the fucking the sword and the ring are missing. Huh. Wonder why that is. Any ideas, boys? Are we bugged? That is interesting. Wait, I'd never go this way. What the hell am I doing? Yeah. Holy shit. I'm losing it, boys. I'm actually losing it. Send help. I stand ready. With ease. This goes back your play. Alright, you got this, right? You good, right, Kagan? Naldo's going home, too? Oh, shit. Take it easy, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, bro. I mean, he went through all his darts already? Holy shit. Yeah, it will be done. What I'll do your toil. I stand ready. Go 
More like Ronald the Brew, am I right? You're probably not. You're probably incorrect. Nice chunk of XP. I'm 600 XP away. Fuck me. So close and yet so far, boys. So 600 times 6, we need only 3600 XP? Holy shit. Hmm. Is there really no one else who can bother? Catch someone else, you filthy swine. Again, you disturb me. I stand ready. Oh, Vicky's dead. Monty's dead. Sword Spider's tearing us up, boys. Holy shit. That's what I'm saying, dude. That bitch was thick indeed. Not thick enough to escape death, though, apparently. Okay, good stuff, boys. All we did was lose two people, so 1,600 gold. Fuck, it's expensive. At least you get some more rage spells, right? Let's see, we'll take a friends. We'll take a blindness, and then we'll take a flame arrow. Even though I'm only level five mage, flame arrow still hits pretty hard. Yeah, it's really hard to fight that fight because the way the webs work and how quick the sword spiders actually attack, if you get poisoned, you're basically done. You really need a good plate to fight them. I got a lucky hit on uh, Vicky because she was webbed, so even though she had the Ankeg gear, it didn't do anything to save her. And Monty was wearing his shadow armor, so of course he's going to drop in two seconds. Alas. Oh, shit. The Etter Caps. Not a problem. We actually have to go down and kill that uh, jackass mage. Narcillus. The fucker with the lightning bolts. And this time we don't have a berserker to help with the uh, mustard jellies either. That's gonna be fun. Uh, my money. We have to risk uh, the spell thrust here. Ooh, let's go. Let us go. What am I going to do with all these fucking bandit scalps? I think the Nash Gale dude actually buys them. I don't need the end of the world, but it's still annoying.
All right, I think that's it for the management of inventory, I suppose. We save, so we're good. Rhinos didn't dump all their stats into strength and constitution to get some charisma and shit. They'd be unicorns. Holy shit. It's the thought for your next playthrough. Thanks, buddy. I like that. I like that a lot, dude. I like that a lot. Appreciate the words of wisdom there, my friend. Oh, that's right, we actually have another ambush. Here it is, too! Holy shit! Fucking impeccable timing here, lads. I'll go where you wish, if you keep me from your curse. What is it now? Go put all right. What need you get? Oh well, we missed every single one of her spells, did we really? That's a noisy spell. Oh, well. oh no, we did get it. We got one hold off. Okay, so that's not the worst thing. Uh, let's see. We want to get some acid arrows in on this monkey. We definitely want to get a hold if we can on said monkey. We're chucking shit at the said monkey. I'm going to try to see if we can do something on this monkey. Try a blind said monkey, too. Oh fuck, that's real unfortunate. Okay, we got a couple holds off. But we can get a... Uh, we might be able to actually save this dude. Well, he's hasted, so probably not. Never mind. Oh, oh I got him with a command. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Perfect. Perfect. We gave him the business there, lads. Just thinking to myself, you know who I haven't seen in a while? And then BAM! They showed up. Yes. Let's go, boys. Alright, let's make our way uh, down to Narcillus. This is the motherfucker that's gonna give us the, the hard time. That's a lot of fucking Agrillions. Oh, this motherfucker still isn't down. Good, good. Now you're down, buddy. I think last time we fought Narcillus, he actually fucked us up pretty hard. So hopefully we can avoid getting fucked up this time. I think the trick here actually isn't going for the mustard jelly since we're down so many fighters. I think the trick is actually just trying to blow up Narcillus if we can. If we can hit him with uh, Detect Invis to get rid of his invisibility, and then we hit him with a spell thrust, we might be able to blow him up before he actually has a chance to get off a lot of spells. I think we'll go ahead and get some skeletons out here with us too. And we want to be make sure we're round free, so if needed we can go and drop a uh, potion of absorption on somebody so they don't get blown up by a lightning bolt like Kakonia did last time. 
Let's get that haste up and then let's get it on. Okay. Doesn't look like he actually invisibles at all. If we get him with the spell crest here, we actually should be able to take him down. Okay. Now we want to hit him with the acid arrows, and with the flame arrows, and with the hold, hit him with the flame. Boom, baby. Let's go. Spell Thrust is the shit. The way SCS handles most mages in this level, in this game, is by giving them Minor Globe. It makes them immune to almost every spell you can actually cast, since you really don't get 4th and 5th spells until Baldur's Gate. But if you get them with a Spell Thrust, then you can actually kind of blow them up pretty quickly, if you focus fire nicely. Well, the reason I typically don't do that is because it's a tremendous risk. Because if you lose that Spell Thrust, you don't get another one. Although, actually, I take it back. I think the EE adds uh, a second one in Baldur's Gate. But generally speaking, if you lose, it's gone. So. But having Spell Thrust will pretty much guarantee that every mage we fight is going to drop pretty quickly. We can't dispel their stone skin because we don't have Breach, and dispel magic because of our levels will never hit. But if we can break their Globe of Invulnerability, we can hit them with Acid Arrow, Flame Arrow, um, a lot of damage spells. We can, we can actually take them out pretty decently. So that's what we're going to focus on for the fight in the Cloakwood Mine area. And hopefully that goes well for us. Yeah, this is where having another fighter helps tremendously, because Kagan is not a fighter by any means. He is a tank, not a fighter. Minsk is a fighter. Fuck, even Doran's a fighter. Oh, shit, this music is so hype. Mustard jelly is near death. All right, well, let's go loot this jackass and let's see what we get here. I think he got his lightning bolt scroll too. Yeah, they never got to cast it. Normally, uh, they cast their scrolls, and their scrolls are gone, you don't have them anymore. But because we kicked his ass so quickly, we are actually able to, uh, get it. We got it for ourselves. Do you think parts of oozes are sold and used as lubricants for recreational activities? I'm pretty sure the mustard jelly has become very poisonous, so... Not unless you're into, you know, some really, really kinky shit. Most jellies are poisonous like that, my man. So I'm gonna go with probably not, but stranger things have happened. Come on outside, guests. There we go. Look at all that meat everywhere. That's airy right there. That could be airy. That's airy. It's hard to tell. You don't know which one's actually airy. Because they can't all be... Well, I guess they all could be airy. Hard to say. Retain some semblance of the Sinians when split up? That'd be kind of weird. The tiny little mustard jelly globs trying to eat your dick. I don't know, it sounds like some fucked up horror movie right there. That could be pretty spooky, that's for sure. I'm getting scared just thinking about it, actually. It will be done. Already frightened. Yeah, let's go pick up some more acid arrows for Monty. Actually, he's got 20, and he's got 23 fire, so we should be okay. Is the fire actually plus 2, even though you can save for the fire damage? Yeah, we should be okay. Yeah, hey, let's make it back to quickly. Skeleton ambush this time. I stand ready.
touch me. Not a problem. Hmm? It will be done. I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than we thought it suited. Jean-Claude, may darkness prevail. Yes? Not I can make whatever you wish for a wee little bit more than we thought it suited. Yeah, it sounds fucking awful, dude. <laughs> it sounds fucking terrible. I ran a kiss of revenge. Gets you back finally after all those years. <clears throat> Stand ready. It will be done. It will be done. You have been waylaid it by will be done. You must defend yourself. With my usual command, sir. Not a problem. With ease. Is there really no one else in the bar? you this turn. That's someone else you can ask for. That's someone else, you filthy smart. What need he dead? Yes, yeah, there's almost walked right into that one. I'll do your toil. Hmm? It will be done. Yes. I'll do your toil. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I knew I was muted. I was waiting. <sighs> but we all see what you did here, yeah. It was uh, some genius shit for sure. Huh. 
don't know what you guys are talking about. I planned all that shit. I planned every single bit of that. I wanted money. You see, that's why I pulled money down. So this, the web trap chased after him. So nobody else got hit by it. I knew exactly what I was doing. If I had, if God had wanted me to disarm that trap, he would have made Monty disarm it for me, alright? That's all I'm saying, dude. That's all I'm fucking saying. You have been by oh, this ambush is the worst. These motherfuckers all spam their stupid bullshit web stun ability. It looks like we lucked out. I think everyone resisted it. Good shit. Good shit on fucking spiders, boys. Fucking spiders. Alright, how close are we to our level? Ooh, 10k away. We are miles away, lads. Alright, no one's dinging anytime soon. Excuse me. That's someone else, you finish All right, we got our. I was about to say, fucking, we're out of line of sight, and we don't get everybody with that haze. That was gonna be pretty salty. But we good. All right, boys, time for some, uh, time for some action coming up here. Me against me is level three spinning some over. It only lasts for one turn, but it's a really fast gun. Turn still, turn still ten rounds. Maybe you're right, man. The thing is, that means we have to sack a, uh... I think this is, uh... The mage one's actually better. Yeah, mage one's one turn per level. But I'd rather keep the web. And again... We might be able to sack that and swing that like that. Fuck, I just cancelled it! Son of a bitch, I'm such a retard. Holy shit, game. Alright. Yeah, but nobody else in the- Well, I guess the whole party could use it. They all are strength users, for sure. Well, let's cast it. Let's see what happens. We'll drop one for her. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could see that. Let's see what we got here. So right now, 14, 19, 24, good lord. Puts us at 14. Oh, it doesn't change our attack, just our damage. Okay. Well, she's got a legacy of the masters, and so do I. That's what we do so much more damage. Eh, we'll see. Would be nice having everyone be able to carry shit even for a short time, I suppose. I mean, they're all gonna be dead before it wears off. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Let's see, how long does this shit last again? One turn. I mean, how long does it take to cast? Casting times three, so that's pretty decent. Yeah, I can see that being useful. <clears throat> All right, let's see what our damage is right now. 8, 11, 7, 10, 5, 8, 5, 8. Let's see what it is after it actually wears off. Hmm. 
Okay, and this drops to 2 5. So you lose about 3 damage per person. Less so for myself and Vicky. Oh shit, no, Kagan. I don't know, I think I'd rather have a skeleton to be honest. The problem is, if we are actually doing damage with our slings, I think it'd be solid. But the fact is, these fuckers in the back line are missing constantly. Yes. I'd rather have the uh, flat one on Kagan, to be honest. I think that actually helps more. Because one turn per level is actually something that's going to last for a while. I think the mage one's definitely worth it on Kagan. Until we at least get these fuckers to have points and slings though, I don't think the cleric one's as good. Cause this motherfucker basically has to be hitting somebody butt naked and rolling 20s to fucking actually land a fucking hit. Oh, this is the ambush I really didn't want to get here. But we actually resisted it completely, we can just keep running. I see. It will be done. Is there really no I definitely need to get protection from petrification on myself. Let's go and summon our fucking summonable dudes first, because these actually last for eight hours. <clears throat> And we'll start buffing up after. No, oh, where's my orders? Okay. What do you Oh shit, we gotta kill the stupid guards first. I totally forget. I always forget that for some reason that we gotta kill these stupid jackasses real quick. Then again, if we can kill them quickly without taking too much damage, that's okay. I kind of got it. Okay. And yeah, we're going to fight this legit this time, boys. We're actually going to go in, aggro them all at the same time, because we ain't no bitches. Yes? I don't... All right. That's someone else. Yeah, you must be the fuck are the mages at? So there's the mages. Fuck, does that hit me? No, it doesn't. Okay. Fuck, I forgot about the confusion spell. Holy shit, I'm such a dumbass. Ugh, I can't believe I forgot about the confusion spell. Okay, well... Not much really can be done about that, I suppose. Well, the thing does absolutely no damage, that's right. <sighs> the people with the potions are confused. So there's really nothing we can do to stop this right now. It's not a confusion spell. 
Maybe get everybody with it. Oh fuck, he's getting destroyed by a Nola Lee. Well, that's annoying as hell. Back, we're all back, it looks like. That's another Marion Gym of the Year Celtic. Oh, he got blinded, son of a bitch. Well, the last things he wanted to have happened there. There will still a full HP. Oh, what's his name? Still fucking up to you. That's a normal nice style. Okay. Yeah, that's spooked. Need to get some more monsters out of ASAP. Okay. Egg is still confused. He's blinded. I keep forgetting that. Okay. We can actually fucking hit the motherfuckers with the fireballs now. I think we're good. Where's Kagan at? Okay, Kagan's still up there. Dracis go. Wait, did Dracis die too? Oh, we did kill Dracis. He died of the fireball. Nice. Alright, boys. Success. Easy play, boys. Tell our ogres to fucking kill each other, that's funny. Maybe this is Edwin's buddy here. Yeah, okay. No, you're not crushing anything. Get off. Get off, staircase. Now back to Temple. Hell yeah, boy. Can't wait to go back to Temple. My home away from home. Where's the other guy? Here he is. Down here. Okay. I stand ready. Kinda sucks losing Ed there. If Edwin had, uh... I totally forgot about their Confusion Chaos spell. If uh, we didn't get Chaos right there, we could have actually used Edwin to break the other Globe of Invulnerability and then kill that wizard really quick. And then all we had to worry about would be the fucking melee guys and we would have been fine, but... Fucking these spiders. Oh, they're actually gonna web me too? Oh no, it's Monty. Okay, good shit. Spiders are so obnoxious. And of course they're immune to sleep too, I think. Oh no, these ones aren't immune to sleep. Okay. Well that helps a little bit, actually. And if I can hit these fuckers with a sleep every time, I'll make this shit a lot easier. I don't think we use too much of Monty's ammo. Yeah, we still should have. We should be good for the balance, though. Okay, let's go, buddy.
And we made it all the way to Temple, boys. Good shit. Song of the Morning Temple. These motherfuckers taking all my fucking money. Don't touch me. I took off my boots of lightning, that's weird. Let's save. In case we get a crash here. Fucking noise. Well, we can't do anything in Barrios because our rep's so low. We're gonna get ambushed almost. They're guaranteed. <sighs> can't even fucking get into the wilderness. Edwin, please, for the love of God. We just rescued you, dude. Holy shit. Get me out. 3 HP, Edwin, man. Oh no, Monty or er, Sarah is trying to talk to us. Oh no. I don't wanna talk. I stand ready. Naturally you resist everything. Let's see if we can deal with a blind. And then if not, we just have to have fucking uh make a deal for the tank here. Take one hit. Wait, why do I still hear Zara? Look off, Zara. With these. Okay, now we're good. Someone else, you filthy you are most irritating. Yeah. <laughs> bad, man. Poor Zara, dude. Running around in the wilderness all by himself. All alone, scared, no friends. Trying to find us so he can take Monty out of the party. So he can go to Nashville and find out what's going on with the Iron Crisis. As if I haven't already solved it like 20 years ago. I like that a lot. You got a fucking little thing off. What do you want? What is it now? Is Get him. Oh, yeah. This, this shit right here. These guards hit so fucking hard and so often. Always psyched to murder them without actually getting hit back. I hate them flaming fist pansies. I wonder who else has fucking chat commands. Ooh. I actually don't remember who else I gave uh, commands for.
Hmm, that's interesting. Alright, boys. The mind of Devayorn. Let's fucking go. Let's whoop his ass. Show him who the real Devayorn is. It ain't him. It's me. Yeah, I just realized our Wanda Paralyzation is what we use a lot on Devayorn, and now we don't have it. Because we ended up using it, it almost completely up when we were doing that ambush there. Gonna make this a little tougher. That's still doable, boy. It's still doable. Making our way downtown, boys. I stand not a proud That's all right, if I but not because you told me to. What? My actions are yours. This? What is you? Again, my actions are yours. Hmm? You are. Oh, what is it now? Is there really no one else? You must be loving this. Again, you disturb if I That's something with my yeah. usual finesse. Are you fucking serious? He actually got poisoned? He's an okay guy. What do you want? Really? He actually fucking interrupted me with that shit? You motherfucker. Is it a lot change? What would you like it change to, buddy? What do you think it should be, my friend? Oh, did I? Did I really? I don't remember that at all. Yeah, I don't remember that whatsoever. I have no fucking idea what I'd change it to. The Turnip Appreciation Society. Hmm. Yeah, there you go, buddy. You got your official title now. I stand ready. Yes. 
I have no fucking idea where I was going with that. If I said I'd change in the past, I'm sorry, dude. I have no fucking idea. None whatsoever. So I do apologize for that, my friend. Oh shit, that's about as perfect as it gets. You like that? Hey, right, good shit. Okay, then we'll just go outside real quick, take a rest, get healed to full, we'll go and uh, start our battle with the man, the le myth, the legend himself. Hopefully we don't get fucking a uh, big old papa pack of guards to ambush us when we sleep. Oh boy. Excuse me, I might end up calling it after the Varen. I'm fucking exhausted, boys. I want to keep playing, though. Bye-bye, Monty. No, Monty's good. We're going to pop him a potion of magical protection. He can't actually die with that shit up to the Varen. Takes zero damage. Although it's very possible that I die, considering how fucking low my HP is. I do have my helmet, Gift of Peace, which gives me some decent resistance. I have to wait and see, I suppose. Could go either way. There's been plenty of times where we do to Baron and he just dies in two seconds. Come with me, Van. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Greatly appreciate the support, dude. Bless you and welcome to the stream. Hope you're enjoying it, buddy. And we stream, uh... Oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Every day starting at 10 a.m. EST. Except some days. We're off some days. If we are going to be streaming tomorrow instead of the 4th, I'll post an announcement. And I'll post it on Twitter and Discord, etc. too, so... If you guys check any one of those, you'll see the announcement. I'll probably make the decision to do that later tonight. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't really have much plans for the 4th. I'm just going to be cooking out, but I plan on doing that at night and streaming during the day. Hit areas of this spell and the ones that plow straight to Sarah. That's pretty much what I've been doing, to be honest. I hit the side areas to get the extra XP. Don't burn out. I'm good. I'm good. I'm enjoying BG2 immensely, and I'm already excited for not just this playthrough, but the one after that. And that's when you know you're doing well. When you're ready, not just for this one, but for... Uh, the second one. So you want to get through this one to get to that one. And to be fair, we've also... We haven't done Ayla Tech since, like... What? Fucking April, maybe? I mean, it's been a long-ass time since we've done it. We skip them all the time because you get nothing for it. But I mean, like, our, our time for getting to uh, Baldur's Gate 2 has usually been about two streams. Uh, first takes one stream to get to uh, Baldur's Gate... Second stream to finish Baldur's Gate is what we've been doing. So about two days to finish BG1 isn't bad at all. Especially when I'm going for the XP cap, right? I want to get that 161 before we get on to BG2. And I just, I skip certain things like, uh... I skip what's that shit. This shit right here. Gullican, there's nothing to do. I don't do the Firewind Bridge itself. I don't do uh, the other ruins, the temple, not the temple, the school ruins, because there's just absolutely fucking nothing in there. This one is slower since it's not a berserker, that's true, yeah. We we crushed that shit last time. I think uh, last time was one of my fastest playthroughs ever. I think it was like 12 hours maybe, something like that. It was pretty quick.
Yeah, but I'm looking forward to the Sorcerer and the FMC playthrough. Yeah, I'm I'm taking my time with BG2 on purpose. I'm trying different shit, trying different fucking uh, NPCs that I wouldn't normally use. Like, my original playthrough is myself, Corgan, Viconia, Yan, Edwin, and whoever else. Last time we played, I didn't take any of those guys. Except Yan. So... Trying out shit, see what, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't. And so... Got some good ideas for the next run, for sure. But yeah, BG2, I just take it slow because there's so many things that can go wrong. And I want to play it smart. I was not playing it smart when we got to the Underdark, but now I know what that fucking fight is like, and yes, we will be doing it again next time I get there. And we will be fucking crushing it. We know we can do directs now. We know what we need to do to do directs, which is make sure you have spell immunity alliteration. Alteration. Why do I keep saying alliteration? Holy shit, I'm actually retarded. If I have Spell Immunity Alteration up along with Spell Immunity uh, Abjuration, then we should actually be able to take down all the Liches pretty easily. So I'm kind of fucking hyped about that, actually. Holy shit, and we didn't get the fucking uh, the Elite Hobgoblins here. Let's fucking go, dude. Alright, now if we can command this shit, then we're fucking golden, boys. Oh, let's go. What's my first name? Alex. Alright, let's go, dude. Let's fucking go. Alright, how are we gonna do this? Uh, that prevents, uh, disintegration. It prevents flesh to stone and Sphere of Chaos. Alteration actually hits a lot of the big ones. Abjuration is for immunity uh, to um, imprisonment and dispel magic. And there's a couple other spells too that use Abjuration, but for the most part it's to prevent yourself from getting dispelled and losing all your other buffs. The Disintegration is flesh to stone are the big ones that kill us, that perma kill us. Aside from, uh, that aren't physical. Like, fallen planetaries are probably still the number one, the number one perma, perma death motherfuckers in the game, but, uh, yeah. So we're gonna pop the cold resistance. Probably the only time we actually ever drink this potion in Baldur's Gate 1. We'll use that shit for Adelon and then that's it. Pass all these over to Monty and then we want to get... We should have one potion of freedom. If not, I'm gonna feel like a complete fool. Yeah. Okay, and that is that. Let's get our skeletons down to block the doorways. For when the other dudes come, then we'll have Kagan start it up, and then Monty will pop his potions, sick him on Devayorn, and uh, hopefully we fuck him up. Can allow double spell immunity? Um, it does if you don't do abjuration first, bros. You have to do abjuration second, because spell immunity abjuration will protect, will prevent you from casting another spell immunity. If you do alteration, then abjuration, you can double dip and use both at the same time. But you have to do abjuration last, or second. If you're not casting another one after that. But also, the one thing that does suck about that, it also means you can't rehaste yourself. Alright, lads, let's do it the fuck up. Mm. 
Okay. Alright, fuck, he did come right in on top of us. I hate that shit so much. Oh, he's still invisible too. Holy shit, they're coming in hot. Ooh, this is really bad positioning for us here. Fuck, that was a sunfire? I didn't expect that at all. Okay, well... Holy shit, they already spawned. Well, we're in trouble now, boys. Hmm. And we're all stuck in this corner here. Okay, well we need to get this wand over to my guy. I think is the only one who can actually use it now. And we'll see if we can drop this right here. We need to get us all out of here very quickly if we can. Okay. Okay. Need to get those webs up ASAP. And I don't know if we could really do anything about the battle horrors, to be honest. Yeah. Much we can do here. Oh, Vaconia just got webbed. That's unfortunate. She's good as fuck. Let's see. Hopefully we can save her with a magic missile. She doesn't get chunked. Unlikely, though. Okay, Vaconia is still alive, but not doing well. This is uh, going about as badly as it can possibly go. Holy shit, we're dodging. We're dodging. Need to keep Kagan alive. Because Kagan's basically the only one who can actually kill the battle horrors right now. Let's see what else we have for magic. Get some flame arrows going. Get some booze going. Okay. We need those webs to fuck off so we can get, uh, get everyone else in that ship. Okay, that's done. This looks like Devarin's still actually right there. If we can get him with a web, we can actually take him down. Let's go and pop another potion of magic resist there. Okay, so that's that. That's down. He's once again invisible. Looks like he's doing a cone of cold on a boy there. Let's see if we can get, if we can get some, uh, some damage in on him. There goes the Cone of Cold. Kagan shouldn't take anything serious from that. Let's see what we got. If we can get a blind off, that'd be good. Monty's in melee range fighting right now, which I don't like at all. Okay, that missed. He's focusing on Kagan again, so we want him to be out of line of sight if we can. Then hit everybody. Okay. Still good. Another acid arrow up. Let's see if we can try to get a whole person. They won't fucking land, but we can try. Okay, there's the other mirror image. Okay. okay. I think we actually might have hit him with uh, the blind there. We need to start pumping Kagan full of as many fucking heals as we can right now. Okay. Fuck, Bailoff got killed there. Okay. Do we have any magical bullets on the ground that I can use? Use the bullets of ice that we need.
Got him. Crit him right in the face. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. I think that was actually our last acid era, too. Hell yeah. Alright, lads, we fucking did it. No perma. We managed to avoid it completely. Okay. So we're just gonna go and uh, we're gonna drop everyone's shit off. There's too many items for us to pick up here. There's no way we're gonna be able to afford. Oh fuck, we can't even do that many. There's no way we'd be able to run back. We'll have to bring everyone back here and grab their shit. One by one. That's the best way to do it, I think. Those can actually go in our scroll case right now. Yes. Shit, maybe it is po possible for us to actually just grab everyone's shit and walk out. Well, let's go and uh, clear the rest of the area real quick. Yeah, we did it, boys. Uh, I mean, maybe, man. We'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I'll, play, I'll be posting in a couple hours tonight, so if you guys get up and check any of the social media, stream or social media, you'll know for sure. We will see, my friends. We will see. I do definitely need to start uploading YouTubes after every stream, so I don't have to do those on Sunday. That'll help out tremendously. Oh fuck, I forgot about the mustard jelly. Holy shit. Let's say if fucking he ends up dying there, we're gonna be seriously upset. Fuck, we need to maneuver this so my dude's not getting meleeed. Okay, he's hitting Kagan. And we do have a potion of elixir of health right here, so if somebody gets poisoned, we're good. You can choose what spells to cast and come up with preparing to stack and several spell immunities would be no problem, yeah. But again, like I said, there are spells as a sorcerer that you can't get. You will never be able to take all the spells you want. And granted, a lot of them you don't use, but there are certain cases where you like, man, I really want every single fucking one of these. Level 9 spells, for example. You really want fucking all of them, dude. Chain Contingency, Spell Trap... All of those are super fucking good. And you can't get those as a sort. Level 5 and 6, there's a ton of spells you'd want. Level 4 and 3, there's a ton of spells you want. And it's uh, kind of frustrating. Level 7, there's a buttload of good ones too. And then of course you, uh, you miss out on a ton of XP. For not being able to write scrolls. You actually get literally several hundred thousand XP just from being able to write. That adds up pretty quick, man. It really does. But I do like Sorcerers, and I do definitely want to play one. So I will be playing one. And then we'll see how bad it is. Maybe when we get to the higher levels, we actually start getting uh, filling in the gaps that we have at the low levels. It's entirely possible. I am using the uh, the tweak packs extended uh, extended um, spell progression. So, who knows? Maybe. All right. Let's see if we can actually do this. We might be able to walk out here, boys, with all our crap. Okay, starting to doubt it now. <laughs> Why 
Shit, we looks like we almost got it. Those are bullets of ice, so we won't grab those. Okay, I think we can actually walk out of here, boys. Good shit. Ooh, exactly 150 pounds. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, none of these are fucking useful. We can pick up another helmet later. Double check to make sure nothing on the ground. Bullet, bullet. Let's go, boys. Hell yeah. Well, I'm psyched about that shit. I don't want to have to come back here if I can avoid it. We are going to be saving the slaves because our rep is at fucking two right now. If we don't, if we end up killing the slaves, we're actually going to be a one rep. Which means if we go anywhere near a town, we're never going to be able to fucking do anything because we're going to get swarmed by the fist. We're almost actually high enough to where we can fight and murder the flaming fist swarms, but... It's still something I'd rather not deal with, to be honest. The archers are going to guaranteed kill our mages. And it's just eventually we're just going to start hemorrhaging money so badly that... We're completely fucked. I don't know about you guys, I don't like to get fucked. Not a fan. But we might do a 4th of July stream. I can see that happening. Down my notes, not a fan. Yeah, not a not a fan. Holy shit, I walk all the way down here and the damn door's locked. Feels good. Okay. No, slaves are free. You fl I mean, have you seen these guys? I'm not- I don't go that way, but if I did, not my type. A bunch of fucking skinny miners dying from emphysema. Not my type, boys. Not my type. That's assuming I even went that way, and I don't. So. Back, what the fuck has happened? We whooped Veyron's ass and nobody died. Nobody perma died at least. We saved Viconia with a magic missile. And Edwin actually barely fucking lived through that sunfire. And then uh Bailoff. I think Bailoff died to an archer, so he couldn't perma. Good shit either way though. Very pleased. Fuck Edwin, dude. Are you serious, man? Come on, Edwin's my dog. Edwin is my boy. Hello, this is three pillar. Well, nobody perfect died. Oh, nice to play Ed like rep, reap the sweet rewards, and go on a killing spree in chapter seven. Just before going to the undercity, staying remotely anything humanoid. That sounds pretty really good. Every single person in my party is evil, so we can go as low as we want. Saved. Dude, come on. I would literally be at zero rep. I'd be at one rep. Flaming Fist would probably swarm me right here. Ever crime must be punished. Cool NPC, but me no likey. Oh, dude, you don't like evil parties? Dude, you know our rep is like two, right? We've murdered a lot of innocent people. We murdered a lot of Om Omnin soldiers, too. Killed a lot of fucking guards here. I serve the law. That's what I'm saying, dude. I'm a goody two-shoes? Ew, puke. 
Unfollows? Ah, oh, shit, rip. Rip a Rooney, man. You disappointed me, Anakin. <laughs> Not impressed. Hey, we have to have a we have to have a couple evil parties on uh on Twitch, man. We have to have a couple evil parties on Twitch. We have to have somebody who serves the true good, which is ourselves. Okay, we are raised. I have to hike around now, you evil bastard. Holy shit. My god, man. Fucking Star Wars. That's another thing I could rant about forever. Holy fuck. How do you turn one of the most likable fucking people in the whole franchise into somebody who's disliked? It's fucking hardcore. Honestly, with the Bracer to death, we actually, uh... That one doesn't really lose too much. He loses a saving throw, and he loses one armor, but that's really it. Star Wars is over pretty much, man. Pretty much. Ripperoni. Pepperoni, man. I stand ready. Alright, we got some serious management to do here, boys. Hmm. How the fuck are we up a sling? Oh, we didn't give one to Baloth. Okay. Mace, with, Mace Windu comes back as a dark Sith. I don't think that's gonna save the franchise, dude. Tonight you dream of the Lord. Not a problem. Yeah, I don't think there's a... What do you... I don't think there's any coming back, dude. You kill off Luke, man, it's over. It's actually fucking over. I didn't even go see the last one. I knew I was gonna be disappointed, so I didn't bother. Yeah, it's still some of this trash. Oh, that's where we're missing. We need to go and get this one back in this dude's inventory. And then we need to drop our rings, pull them bitches out. Oh, is that really it? Holy fuck, okay. I swear we're, like, missing so much crap, but I guess not. Okay. Yeah, it is. It was bad, dude. It was. It was bad, from what I heard. Unfortunate, to say the least. I mean, I get why they did it, you know. Makes sense. They want to create a new franchise, basically. A whole new set of characters. But I just, I wish you wouldn't, like... What's the point of bringing back an old character and killing it? Just to get people hyped and addicted to the new ones? It's just... It's just rotten to me.
don't want to buy anything else. Because we actually need to uh, pull into Baldur's Gate with some decent amount of cash so we can load up Edwin with scrolls. And there's lots more potions we want to buy too, so. We're just going to stock up on ammo here and then we'll make our way up to the gate. Just double checking to make sure there's nothing else we miss. I just feel like we're missing items. Like straight up, I don't know what the fuck we could possibly be missing. Everyone has a helmet. We got our shields. We got our rings. I don't get it. Yeah. Let's go, dude. Not so that they don't try to get some new actor playing. Could you? Oh god, someone replacing Mark Hamill. Holy shit. That would be pretty hardcore. I'll give you that. I mean, to me, well, how I see it is they killed them off on purpose. Because they want the new characters to be the new Han, Luke, and Leia. And, you know, you remind me of a dwarf that would be your class in real life? Man, come on. I'm not that short. I'm almost manlet king status, dude. 5'10". They erase you look short on cam dude yeah basically you see like half my torso and the rest of me is i i slouch so hard that i'm practically like inhuman but yeah my most of my body is actually under my desk my legs are actually going past my desk Direct your story was terrible, yeah, it's just fucking stupid. I mean, like I said, it's just, they want to sell the new set of toys to the new fucking generation. And it makes sense. Maybe you're right, the fact that you have no legs, you got me, dude. I actually just slither my way to the kitchen to get more Mountain Dew. Like the new memes with all the money they're making to generate so much for the old series from Super Nintendo, like, to get rid of benefit of their money. There you go, yeah. I mean, it's just... Shit exists to sell itself, right? I mean... Nobody here is actually fool enough, foolish enough to think that they made a new Star Wars movie because they love Star Wars so much and they just really wanted to do a new one. Made a new Star Wars movie to make money. It's the same shit with the Jurassic World. The plots have, like, holes so big you could drive a fucking freight train through. But everyone goes to see it because it has dinosaurs. I'm not gonna lie, I went to see it because it had dinosaurs. All it takes is a T-Rex to get my fucking $8 ticket money, man. That's all it fucking takes. I'll go and see the next one, too. I don't care how shitty it is. I don't care how fucking bad it is. I don't give a shit who's in it. You can bet your ass that I'm gonna be fucking there to go and see the new fucking Jurassic World, man. Can't wait for it. Can't fucking wait. Half mermaid, half merman. Dude, they just want money so good to get mad and it doesn't appease them. Yeah. I mean, everything's like that, dude. Like, news, fucking news channels. People are just like, I mean, news exists to tell us what's going on. And I'm like, hell no, it doesn't, dude. The news exists to sell itself, man. They exist to make money. Fuck, maybe at one point, news existed to fucking tell the people what's going on. But <laughs> not for a long fucking time. See Jurassic, what I want it? You should. It's got dinosaurs. That's all it takes. That's all it fucking takes. Dinosaurs are great. Which Jurassic World? Are you talking about the new one, Yopa Morris, or the first one that's been out for a couple years? The new one just came out like a week ago. That's what I'm about. If something's more fun than not, I'm happy. Good shit. Yeah. 2015, yeah, that was the first one. The new one just came out, which I just saw. The new one was even worse than the first one when it came to plot holes. I like I liked the whole idea of like seeing a high-budget Jurassic World movie with like the whole theme park and shit. I thought that was fun and cool, but the plot just was fucking stupid and made no sense. And the way they ham-fisted the characters and did all sorts of weird dumb shit was just retarded. Like, Chris Pratt, I actually really like as a person. I think he's a really great guy, but as an actor in that movie, 
<laughs> when he snatches the fly out of the air to show what a masculine man he is. What the fuck, man? Did he fucking get taught by Mr. Miyagi at some point? Holy shit. This, and, uh, the bitch, or uh, the fucking Claire running away from the T-Rex in high, he in high heels, like... Dude, just walking in heels sucks. Running in heels is even worse. Running from a T-Rex in heels... <laughs> Alright, dude. Alright. I don't know what the fuck's going on here, but... When movies are willing to suspend complete and utter disbelief just to get in a one-liner or to fucking press a point home or something, it's just... I can't stand it, man. And they Every fucking movie does that. Where, like, you're in the middle of a, a huge battle, right? Like some Lord of the Rings shit. People are fucking getting their heads cut off and body parts cut off every two seconds. And then they turn and look at each other and tell a joke. Like, <laughs> you don't have time for that shit, man. Like, people are dying all around you, dude. There's a dude trying to stab you as you say that. Like, it's just... It's just fucking silly to me, man. It's just silly and it just... I like to be drawn into movies and when you do something like that, it's like putting up a wall that says, this is absolutely fake and stupid. And it just ruins the immersion for me. And I can't stand that. This makes no fucking sense. There's something in toys that they kill. The cash go through incompetence. Star Wars is a good story. And Lucas had a lot of world building that was unique. Just putting Star Wars together in a piece of shit. One look at the first movie in the trilogy. Yeah. Well, I mean, Lucas's wife actually did an enormous amount of work. That was one of the reasons so many people thought the, um... The uh, sequels were so bad. It's because his wife wasn't there to edit it. Yes. But, um... I mean, I can't... I can't fucking... Prove or disprove that theory. Wait, who's the bottom character? Story to subject change? Oh. Yeah. Bad week for PG2 deaths? It has. Hollywood production share, but there's some great movies out there. There are. I just... I wish people would get away from that whole... I, I wrote a funny joke. Let's see if I can wedge it into the story somehow, shit. It just annoys me to no end. For a BG movie, I need my big screen Vicky romance. I'll throw on Emmy romance and a lot of the shit. Cheers, Debbie, your willpower is epic. Thanks, man. The playthrough will be the one made. I sure hope so, dude. I sure hope so. We're near you all. The Dark Elf on your team. Oh, he's from the uh, Enhanced Edition. He is a character in the EE only. He's basically a sorcerer with... Great stats and 50% magic resistance because he's a drow. Very strong character. Probably the strongest they added in the whole series, but... He adds a couple of uh, Beam Dogs characters. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get him in... Uh, let me go and show you on the map here. You get him right here in Larswood. You walk by this tower after you kill Giverlings after a certain level. And then he'll appear and do some super long dialogue. And uh, then you can get him in the party. He's quite good. Yeah, it's by the Thresher, even though I'm not even fucking meleeing. I don't know why I bought that. That's kind of stupid. Yeah, whatever. I think this dude sells ban- by Oh, he doesn't buy bandit scalps either. I think the guy in Nash Kill is the only one who does. Oh well. Sell our full plate armor too, because we need the cash. Let's load up our boy Edwin. Oh fuck, I'm a mage too. I also could use spells. Hmm. Slow would be great, ghost arm would be great, melts would be great. Even though I'm a multi-class, it's still useful. Uh, blur is good. Acid arrow is good. Haste is good. I think we have a haste, though. So we don't need that. Always want a chaos. Secret word. Spirit armor is also good. Let's load up our boy Edwin with a spirit armor. Greater Malison. Secret word. Chaos. Get him a haste, too. Melfs. How we get? Oh, he didn't learn invisibility. He failed. And that's right. What else do we want here? Give him a flat ghost armor too. Give him a slow as well. Give him monster summoning one, even though it's dog shit. And then we'll go and uh, buy the potions that make us really intelligent, boys. Buy two more so I can give myself one. Okay. 
Okay, let's drink number two. And now we're both SM or T. SM or T. Once we get in the magic box here. And now can we get haste? Ooh, fire shield, always good. Detect illusion's also a fantastic spell. I'll give that to myself since Edwin can't learn that, obviously. Okay, pass the case over to our boy here. Okay, good shit. Didn't use too much cash. We still got a couple more things we need. We need wands, most of all. Uh, we'll get a wand of the heavens for Vicky. We need a fresh monster summoning for Edwin. I think that's all we can afford for now. Okay, good shit, boys. Don't redo our spells. I think mine are actually okay. Level two. So many spells and you can't cast any of them. Definitely want to get a slow here. Edwin, we can go and drop one of these for a ghost armor. The rest are fine. Those are still good until we get a little higher level and we can swap over to the new ones. We're good. Ones are cool. Harry Potter uses them. Hell yeah. Skills on actors who have improv experience like Chris Pratt are some of the best improv skills of anyone. You can make a joke better than any writer if you give them a free reign. Oh, really? I think most of the junk merchants buy bandit scalps. Alright, I'll check them out. I just don't like the way they tried to make him like super fucking alpha and manly. And it just, it comes off as fucking poorly written pretentiousness. And I just didn't like that. Ah, oh, fuck, we're too ugly to take a nap, boys. Feels bad. Yes? I think he could have played it so much better if he was actually allowed to. I'm pretty sure that was, he was told to do that by the director, which was just embarrassing for everybody, I think. I think straight up it was just bad. But you know what are you gonna do, man? Shit, our rep is gonna fucking plummet as soon as we kill that stupid elf. Uh, YouTube link. YouTube links are scary. Let's see what we got here. Did you put your name into the goblet of fire, Harry? Dumbledore asked calmly. Harry, I protest. Harry, you put your name. Uh, yeah, I mean, sh shit in movies and fucking books change quite a bit, dude. Like, in the uh, original Jurassic Park, John Hammond's a greedy piece of shit. In the movie, he sees Richard Attenborough. Everybody loves him, right? He's a super nice guy. He just, you know, he made some dumb mistakes, you know? But in the book, he's just this greedy little fuck who's like, I'm out to make money and I don't give a shit. And you have to change some shit because, I don't know. I don't know why. In the book, fucking, like, Henry Wu, the guy that B.D. Wong plays, the uh, the scientist who's in charge of everything, he dies in the first book. And he's been in fucking all the Jurassic Worlds. Yeah, this is for you, Arkhamborov. Nah, no, see? I don't trust you. Whoa! For real? I gotta do a thousand? Holy fuck. I just blew a lot of money. Oh shit, well that's frustrating. What are you gonna do, boys? We're almost guaranteed to run into a Flaming Fist ambush. Let's see what else can we do to get some quick rep. Ah, the Watcher. This one is funny, yeah, that's pretty good. Harry, what are you doing? Oh, I missed the old Dumbledore, dude. I remember I saw the first movie and I was like, I fucking love this Dumbledore that they got. And then I think he died, and that's why they never used him again. The, the first Dumbledore was fucking legit, man. The dude was fucking perfect for that shit. Some people are just perfect for parts, man. The first guy they had was great. He passed away after the second movie? Oh, that sucks, man. 
Yeah, he was perfect for that shit. He was super, like, everything he said was calm as fuck. I saw, I think, the first two movies, and then I kind of, like, half-watched the third, and that was it. I never saw the others. But, I mean, I was basically done with Harry Potter at that point. Why are you using your fist when you have an axe, dude? Come on, buddy. We can go fuck a Bacillus too, actually, now I think about it. That would be a nice chunk of change. Well, we're at the perfect spot for it too. Let's go, dudes. Ian McKellen declined the role of Dumbledore? Holy shit, Ian McKellen for Dumbledore. What the fuck? That would have been awful. I thought he was good for Magneto, though. Someone kill this fucker. I don't know why Basilius is so. Oh my god, he got a sanctuary. And then he breaks it instantly because he's a genius like that. People always compare the two? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's been pretty good for Gandalf. I remember him for X-Men the most, to be honest. What's a rip at? Six? That should be fine. Oh, I got a level. I see you. Level three pre spell. Get me. This cast magic is actually pretty OP. I couldn't see him playing Dumbledore at all, dude. Like, no fucking way. Holy shit, how many ambushes are we gonna get here, dude? Wait, is it actually just one bandit? Oh, there's one more, dude. We got two bandits. Bandits are fucking lazy today, boys. I'm gonna wait for the round to reset here. Kids who read Lord of the Rings and kids who read Harry Potter. People like to compare stuff to verify their love for one thing. Yeah. The rabid fanboyism. The classic, dude. They just talk to me. <laughs> you are your father's child, Steve McQueen, and I have come to put an end to it. Seriously? Just sunfires us right off the bat like that? What a jackass. I'll burn you alive, bro. Vengeance for Monty and Edwin. We both had to taste the flames of Sulfuron. Seriously? Alright, burn. Burn, you motherfucker. Killed half my fucking party, dude. Ah. Uh. Let's make darkness prevail. 
fix the fucking temple, dude. Just get me out. Get me out. To be fair, most of this crap is actually worthless. Wait, you can pick up lots more shit. What are you doing, woman? Okay, put that away there. Dagger, history to the three quarter stack. Boom, that's everybody. He just looted, he just looted everything. Yeah. Temple gladly appreciates your business. Here's a temple close by, unless they're dead already. They're not dead quite yet. Well, it's possible I get a Flaming Fist fucking group to spawn on top of my ass. In which case, I'll probably die because I have low HP. That'd be perfect, right? Flaming Fist and Flaming f I better start popping potions. Flaming Fist ambush in Baldur's Gate of all places, right? When you think you're safe heading up to a temple. Jukes on you, buddy. I just wish people would try to focus more on making something awesome and then getting paid from that than trying to make something to get paid for, you know what I mean? Because I feel like the video game industry kind of went that way too. Where like at one point there was so much competition that the only way to make money was to make a quality game. And it's kind of gotten away from that really. Where the goal is to just make money. And if the game is great, then great, but it usually isn't. It will be done. We have a BG RNG, pretty much, man. Transic is level 12 plus. It seems I got killed by Chromatic Orb. Does SES boost him that high, or is that Legacy of Ball? Um, I don't think SES puts Transic nearly that high. I'm gonna go check for you real quick. Legacy of Ball, I thought, didn't actually edit... Uh, I don't think Legacy of Ball actually edited levels. I'll go and check for you, buddy. See what level Transic is on mine. It's possible he's that high. Doesn't make sense, because I think the Varen's only level 11. Are you sure you didn't die to the acid damage effect of the Chromatic Orb? Chromatic Orb can actually hit pretty fucking hard. And when it's doing double damage, especially. Because of the uh, insane difficulty bonus. Transic is level 6. He's a level 6 mage for me. Yeah, if you died to the death effect, that's that's way fucking that's that's pretty fucking wrong. Level well, 60 so the orb hit me for 18 acid and the kill effect. Well, that's fucking weird, dude. I've had plenty of times where I've died for no reason though. The dispel magic on the potion of invulnerability was the number one for me. I have no fucking idea why or how I die, but if I pop a potion of invulnerability on Kagan and he gets dispelled, my character dies. It makes no sense. And it's a bug I've never been able to... I haven't even been able to reproduce it. I think I managed to once, but I've never been able to reproduce or fix it. <sighs> we have no money. The classic. You sure you didn't get, uh, didn't get petrified, Bruce? That still won't be enough money. 
I'm just going to go to the temple temple. With ease. Then I can turn in the uh, Basilius uh, icon and raise everybody here. That should work out fine. I mean, it's possible fucking Legacy of Ball does it. Is the death effect? Alright, well. Legacy of Ball must do it then. I got nothing else to add. I don't know why they would, because they sure as hell didn't edit any of the other mages I fought when I tried it. They were the exact same fucking level with only a couple spells, and that was it. They didn't do a damn fucking thing. Speaking of not doing a damn thing, why am I not raising anybody? Whoops. They sure as hell didn't when I played, man. My, the same fucking mages didn't do a damn thing. They had... The same magic missile, the same sleep spell, and that was it. Then they just start smacking you with their stick for fucking 20 minutes while you kite them around and actually kill them. Feels so like sleep won't work. There aren't any mages in the game I know of that sleep would work on anyway. Every mage in the game should be at least level 5. With the exception of Tran- oh, not Transic, but um... The dude at the friendly arm man, he doesn't have level 3 spells. So he should be under level 5. But everyone else should be above level 5. Then again, I'm playing with SCS, so... And I know SCS does change some of them. Sleep won't hit anything in Legacy of Ball? Okay, well... Then, yeah, they definitely changed some levels, then. In that case, you're right, my dude. I thought you just meant Sleep wasn't working on the mages. But for the most part, like I said, the mages are... Uh, are also high level where they shouldn't be getting hit by that crap. Anyways. What the fuck are we missing, dude? Every time we die, we somehow lose equipment. It's actually starting to annoy me. Because I have no fucking idea how it keeps happening. What the shit, dude? These guys have nothing now. Hmm. Maybe there's like some weird in-game tax where you just lose items every time you die. Fucking hobgoblins when my dudes are low HP. Seeing a lot of maxed out mirror images too? Okay. I don't know why they change the levels but not update the spells. That really doesn't make any sense to me. I know for a fact they don't have any extra spells. It will be done. What is it now? I stand what ready. It will be done. Hmm. Well, I am going to do a Legacy of Ball playthrough at some point. I don't know when. Probably got a day when nobody actually watches, because I don't think anybody actually wants to see that. Just watch me kite around some monsters for 20, mi 20 uh, fucking minutes. Dude, they had it coming, man. Those poor people, they're only poor after I robbed them. They're not poor by any other means. They were fucking torturing... They tortured some poor little girl's mother and stole her bowl. Evil people. Even if the mother did serve the bitch queen. Who is a complete and total bitch. Hence the name bitch queen. Stop! You are trespassing on my land home. 
Can't even fucking go that high with my voice. Holy shit. Magical. Alright, we got money again. And we got rep again. Let's go murder these fuckers. And let's try to get our rep up to 6 before we kill the paladin. Which will then drop it back down to 3. Or just start at level 8 or 9. Yeah, I'm not going to do it from level 1. If I do, it's... I mean, even just killing a gibberling will take like an hour. And that'd just be... Like I said, it'd just be boring as fuck. I've done it in the past. It's it wasn't it wasn't fun. It was not enjoyable to say the least. Because it doesn't make the game hard. It just makes the game take longer. If they act, if that's why I play SCS, is to actually make the game more challenging. Legacy of Ball doesn't do that, it just makes it take fucking longer to kill shit. It gives them plus 12 levels. So the Veyron's gonna be like a level 23 mage or something. Seems a little retarded. That seems really retarded, dude. It will be done. What's the ultimate weapon on this game? Persimir or Flail of Many Heads. Probably the best best weapon in the game. Persimir plus six, Flail of Many Heads. Let's see, I think we want to go up here and then go down here. And east. Yeah, that question actually has an answer in Baldur's Gate. There actually is a pretty simple answer. In the game, the important yeah, but I mean, still, even then, it just seems stupid. I wish they'd redone mage spells. I really do. If they had redone mage spells, I probably would have done it. I probably would have played it and enjoyed it. Oh, and BG1? Um, BG1, the best uh, melee weapon, is going to be the, um, the Edge of the World, which is a two-hander plus three. I will always end up using the Thresher plus two, because Flails and Morning Stars, anything that does crushing damage is by far the best. If you're looking for a ranged weapon, it's what Monty has, the Deadshot, because it gives you a massive Thacko bonus when you combine that with other Thacko items like the Dale's Protector. You never miss with ranged weapons, ever. I think it's called the edge of the world. World's edge, excuse me. Not edge of the world, the world's edge. My apologies, friend. Told to go ranged, then yeah, the dead shot's probably the best. Yeah, Drizzt's scimitars are good too, but you can't use one of them. Unless you're a good person, so. Then even the world's edge still hits harder. Yeah, that shot's super easy to get. And the comp bow plus one that you can buy in uh, Feldpost Inn here in Bear Ghost, it's practically identical. You just trade one damage for one Thacko. And you can get that, like, fucking stupidly early in the game. Darts of Wounding are good, but most enemies are gonna... You're gonna miss most enemies. 3 APR poison on every hit? That does sound pretty good. It does sound pretty good. Unless you're using do t uh, darts on your PC. These fuckers are never gonna hit a damn thing. Can't hit the broad side of a fucking barn. Let's 
someone but yeah, I guess that's what you're saying, since obviously you can't have an assassin NPC. Has to be a PC. Makes sense. I know they ended up nerfing assassin poison a couple times. I think they did uh, the paladin one too. Because it does so much damage and it trivializes a lot of mages. A lot of enemies get a flat poison resistance with SCS because it would be so broken for them uh, not to. Or, at the very least, they just cast protection from magical weapons and then you can't hit them anyways. Oh yeah, darts aren't bad at all, man. Darts ain't bad at all. Ended up picking them up for myself. Yeah, Assassin's Poison's still broken. They nerfed it. Beamdog literally nerfed it because it was so broken. But, um... Are they about to just nerf the Paladin one? I'm actually not sure. I don't play... I don't play Thieves, typically. For obvious reasons. But yeah, the Assassin Poison hits hard as shit. Honestly, their backstab hits hard as shit, too. Backstab hits fucking ridiculously hard. I don't know why she's like, if you can make it out, I'll let you live, and then I just murder all the priestesses. Well, that's what happens when you don't put on your ring of charisma. So. Personally, I don't mind murdering all the priestesses. Umberly's a fucking bitch, and she can fuck off. Katana and Ninjato are hard to find. The katanas are... are the, kat the katana is designed poorly because it's a 1d10 weapon, which means it does as much as a two-hander in a one-handed weapon. So that means you can never have a katana that's plus 5, otherwise it automatically becomes better than every weapon in the game, which means that every mage that casts Improved Mantle, Absolute Immunity, or even just the generic protection from magical weapons cannot be hit. Karsmir plus 6 goes through a lot of mage protections. You'll never find a katana that does the same. You got to memorize anything higher than level 2 spells? Yeah, and that's what they did. They didn't bother editing the spells of anyone in the game. Rain Mastery and Staves, you, you almost hit one hit, almost enemy, and he puts backstab. That's pretty sweet, man. Yeah, I haven't tried a, a hardcore backstab build like Kensei Thief or something. Could be fun, could be fun. Probably not gonna do that anytime soon, though, for obvious reasons, like I said. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we have to go to Temple to give these assholes some money so we can go and murder a paladin and a couple other dudes. Not had Grand Mastery in any weapon type of yet. Grand Mastery is pretty good. The original Grand Mastery was supposed to give you an extra half attack and it didn't in the game, but my mods make up for that. Leave it back as it should be. Putting the Grand back in Grand Mastery, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me, but I have meditation to attend to. Okay, I need to give this asshole some money. No, that's fine. Not a problem. You just need to keep leveling up, pretty much. Yeah, you can only get Grand Mastery in Baldur's Gate 2. You can't get it in BG1 unless you remove the XP cap. Fighters will get Grand Mastery at level 9. And level 8 is the highest you can get in Baldur's Gate 1. But if the XP cap is removed... Of course, you can get it in BG1, but otherwise you can't. There are NPCs that will have it. Saravok has Grand Mastery. Um, I think Pratt has Grand Mastery. No, Pratt doesn't. He's a fighter mage. Um, Zalamar Cloudwolf has Grand Mastery. There's a couple fighters in the game that have Grand Mastery. Not too many. Mostly Saravok's goons. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the game would be so much more fun. You don't waste points before your original class is reactivated. Yeah. If they had actually given them the spells they should have... I mean, I don't, I'm not saying that these fuckers should be casting, you know... Sphere of Chaos and shit like liches do, but I mean, like... Give them something, dude. Maybe a fireball spell. Maybe even a sunfire, you know? Give them something to cast. Throw up a stone skin and a fire shield. 
Mages and SES cast those, why shouldn't they? Seems fucking stupid. Like I said, it's something that, like, some dude just brought up on a meeting. It's like, what if we just make it like, uh, we just steal something else from Icewind Dale? And I was like, oh, I like that, let's do it. Like, well, we'd have to do this. And like, eh, let's not do that. Let's just, you know, let's just do this and let's call it a day. Where's lunch? I'm hungry. It wouldn't even take long. Shit, I could have done it. That's how I always wonder if, like, if Beam Dog is actually not really a company, but just, like, like two dudes who just call themselves a company. Because that actually makes more sense, considering what they put out. And I wouldn't talk nearly as much shit if I if that was actually the case. That would, and honestly, I'd probably put them levels above most companies if it was just a couple dudes who just, like, look, we really like Baldur's Game, we want to do something different with it. Here's what we did, what do you think? That would actually be a fantastic company in my book, but that's not the case, sadly. Yeah, beggars can't be choosers, boys. Here's a question, do you be a some high-level mage fight? Not to spoil it, but besides bugs, it's pretty tough. I remember doing the the one in... I remember doing her fight, and I thought it was pretty nasty, but... We still ended up fucking it up. It's a pretty small company. Not two dudes, though, yeah. I mean, I, I've known two guys who have just gone together and be like, look... I think we could do something fun here, let's do it. And they'll spend years on something, and when it finally comes out, it's actually pretty fucking decent. Because they are actually passionate about what they're doing. And of course, they have the free time to do it too, which makes a big difference as well, of course. But, I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's just... <clears throat> it's ill-conceived at times, and I just don't like that. If you have... If it's your actual job to do this, you should be doing it better. Like, flat, flat out, that's just it. Have you checked Serpent in the Staglands? That's basically the project of two people did pretty well on the ground, so the game is not the most balanced. Well, pull because starts on with 60 HP gear and everything else will probably be painful. I had to farm on eggs, chicken the air for a long time before I could deal with the normal trash encounters. Yeah. It's, it's, what I did is I just ended up kiting them around. Just one dude. Just fucking running around with a bow. And fucking, yeah. I mean, it's, it was boring and stupid. That's pretty much it. One dude kiting, other dude fucking shooting. It was not fun. Not fun to play, and I would have definitely imagine it wouldn't be fun to watch either. I mean, the original Icewind Dale version, if I remember correctly, you get extra XP too. Like, when you kill a Gibberling, it's gonna be like a thousand XP. And you don't get that Legacy of Ball. You get the same, like, dumbass XP. What is the purpose of multiplayer in this game? It confused me to hell. You have to play with your friends, man. Do it up, dude. Yeah, Heart of Fury is much better designed, yeah. I mean, like I said, they just... Literally everything Beamdog did was taken from Icewind Dale. Siege of Dragonspear? 
Guess how many NPCs they made? Zero. Every single fucking one was taken from Icewind Dale. Even the fucking boss was taken from Icewind Dale. It was... It's... It's embarrassing. It's fucking embarrassing. And like I said, I, I, if it was just two dudes doing the whole thing from by themselves, I'd be like, I could. That totally makes sense. I get it. I appreciate what you guys did. But that's not the case. This is a fucking company. If they have more than five people working for them, it's fucking embarrassing, dude. It's embarrassing. So I talk about dragons. Like I said, I mean. Everyone here knows my thoughts, dude. Everyone here knows my fucking thoughts. I'm not gonna get going on it again. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not doing it, boys. But I have my suspicion. Yeah, I mean, like, I. As soon as I heard about it, I was the dude who was hyped for Baldur's Gate 3. When I heard that uh, Bioware was working on that, I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. Let's fucking bring it out. This was, you know, after Kotor had already come out, right? And I loved Kotor. And, uh. Because, you know, it, it's Baldur's Gate with lightsabers, right? What's not to love? Although, Baldur's Gate is way more detailed than uh, Kotor was as far as random NPCs go. Although, the combat was still fun. Um, the writing, the combat adds absolutely nothing. There's no new characters added that are interesting or fun to play with. Um, everything about it is just... From start to finish, it's just... It's the very definition of DLC, right? Of, like, some extra crap that people were bored on the weekend and decided to make. And they just added it together for fun. To say it's even an expansion pack... Is an insult to games like Brood War. Who didn't really add too much. They added some story, a couple fucking units for balance, and that was it, but I could play Brood War for hours, man. Siege of Dragon Spear, not so much. I, I didn't leave the game thinking that I felt like I had been mugged and robbed. So I guess that's that's good, right? But yeah, replaying it for fun, never gonna happen. Ever. It's just from start to finish, every decision they made made absolutely no sense. From trying to ham fist so many dumb ideas into the writing of the story. The way they change certain characters, the addition of certain characters, the writing for said characters, the writing for your own character. It's just fucking bad, man. Just bad. All around. Yeah, except between BG1 and BG2. Sounds like Star Wars all over again. Sure does, doesn't it? It's almost like they were made by the same people. Not well done, to say the least. Just go with it. Leave it at that. Just... Yeah, it's bad. It's fucking bad. Ugh, so dumb. God, why? Just why? <laughs> the thing for me is, like, I feel... When WoW was new, right? When they had community managers actually on the forums talking and really communicating between the people that played the game and the people that made the game. And you knew for a fact that developers that made the game played the game. You knew. Because the way shit was changed and the way certain things were added and the way certain things were done. You knew that Tigo and Fur had a lot of fucking experience playing MMOs. And you knew that um, the other people who worked on the design and balance teams played their fucking game. I got the exact opposite feeling with Siege of Dragon Spear. I felt like this was made by people who have never heard of Baldur's Gate in their life, thought D&D was for nerds, and then thought that they could do it better than people who were experienced with the game and Dungeons and Dragons in general. And it's just that, that moral high ground 
of people who, of, of people who think they know how to do things better than people who already do. And it's like, it's like if a if fucking electricians in your house, right? The lights are out, you can't figure out how to make it work. And he's like, well, I think we need to do this. This is the way to fix it. And then some random idiot walks in who has like a fucking master's degree in art history. And it's just like, well, actually, I think you should do it like this. That's the guy that was in charge of Siege of Dragonspear. The dude who has no fucking idea what he's talking about, but for some reason thinks he's smart enough to actually push his opinion into a conversation where it does not belong in the fucking slightest. You know what I mean? That's basically what I felt like when I was playing Siege of Dragonspear. Waiting for someone in chat to say something smart ass like Tell me how you really feel, buddy. You bastards. I know you guys are thinking it typing it out right now. Hey, who's this kid? Oh fuck. I forgot I gotta take the little kid back. Just carrying around random bodies in my fucking inventory again, boys. Well, some modders, really? I didn't get that fucking feeling at all. I got the exact opposite of that vibe. Oh yeah, I heard about that too. You can't actually get the original games anymore. They know BG for sure? Man, fucking fooled me, dude. Oh fuck, I gotta get my reward. What am I doing? There's a wasted life at risk. Alright, level 4 spells for Vicky? Yes, there they are, boys. Protection from evil, 10 foot radius, and a defensive harmony. Let's fucking go. I don't know, man. Like, every single thing seemed different. The way they did combat, the massive fucking scale. The enemies who cast spells that you have no saving throw for. None. You, there's absolutely nothing you can do to stop it. It just, it seemed like completely different fucking people, man. Where everything about it from start to finish just seemed different. Seems so fucking different. Oh, writers of the original games. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could see that. I could believe that. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't just the writing I didn't like, man. It was the combat, too. The combat was just... The enemies they added with the abilities they had were just... They didn't... They didn't belong in a fucking BG set, for sure. Not a problem. You, there shouldn't be a spell that drains a fuck ton of your HP can be spammed from range that you have no saving throw for. That makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I got some cheap beer for ya. Yes? I stand right Every spell in this game has a fucking saving throw. Like, literally every spell in BG1 has a saving throw. And granted, there are some in BG2 that don't, but... I mean, those are mostly spell protection 
fucking uh, spell removing abilities like fucking spell strike and shit like that. There were very few abilities that don't have a saving throw, and they're beyond busted. Yeah. That is beyond busted. But I mean, that's for the most part. I mean, I'm not saying every spell is a saving throw. You're right. There are a few that don't, but for the most part, they do. Maybe it's poorly balanced for higher difficulties. I could see that. I I am talking from, you know, the insane difficulty perspective. Get more options in terms of spells and potions. All you get is level 5 spells, right? You never make it to level 6. And you don't get spell immunity until way late. And even then, you have to blow spell immunity to necromancy just to fucking survive those monsters. I don't know, man. Did they add any other different potions? I don't think there were any other special potions. Nothing you couldn't get in BG1. And then the massive battles, just it was just confusing. Fighting a gauntlet with BG rule set just doesn't make sense to me. You only have a certain amount of spells. And you only have a certain amount of potions. It's just weird. I don't know. I said, I just felt like it wasn't a D&D game at all. And to be, to be fair, people say that about the original Baldur's Gate. They're fucking people who think that this was... An insult to D and D games to be called a D and D game, and I could totally see that from someone who's played D and D, but for someone who didn't play D and D nearly as much, I played it like maybe once or twice. I felt like they did a decent job, but they still missed a ton. Like, I mean, you look at the just the spell list for Dungeons and Dragons, right? It's like a book. There's so fucking many, and you can't add all those to a video game, especially in the early 2000s, late 90s. Large stacks of greater healing and clarity pots. Yeah. I don't know. I love how that dude just fucking teleports to the top of his house. It's like, fuck it, I'm out. I want nothing more to do with it. You know, I think I might actually do an SOD playthrough. There are some things that I did like about the game. Maybe just on an off day, like a Sunday when nobody's actually watching, we'll do a playthrough of SOD, and I'll give my opinion about things that I think they did really well and things that just could have been improved. I should stop being so harsh. I mean, I don't know, maybe, I'm, maybe I am just a fucking angry, rabid fanboy. Who knows? Maybe I'm being overly critical when I shouldn't be because I was expecting something better and I didn't get it. Like, a, <laughs> like an angry little kid who wants a toy on Christmas and gets a sweater instead, right? Who knows, man. Maybe I'm fucking crazy, boys. Maybe I'm crazy. I think we're probably going to call it a second here anyways. Got all the way to Baldur's Gate, so on either tomorrow or Monday, we'll be able to finish BG1 and hopefully get into BG2 pretty quickly. Shit, the uninjured mustard jelly. Wait, it's not uninjured. We hit it a couple times. Bad injured. There we go. Maybe we'll do that at some point. Maybe I'll throw up a straw poll. And people can vote on it if they want to see it. <clears throat> I'm just going to kill this dude and then we'll call it here. And we'll finish the tower. Oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that. Hopefully I don't come down the stairs. Okay, I think we're good. Now let's go and save the game here. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. Greatly appreciate it. I hope you all have a fucking awesome day. A fucking kick-ass weekend, boys. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. God bless every single one of you dudes. If anyone here is new to the stream, hit that follow button down at the bottom. I'll be uploading the videos to YouTube tomorrow. I might be playing. I probably won't, and I'll just end up playing on uh, July 4th. 
and I'll just take the night off like I originally had in mind, but we'll see what happens. Thanks again, guys. Hope you all have a fucking awesome kick-ass day, dudes. God bless, my friends. I'll see you next time here on, uh, God bless, my friends. Thanks for watching, dudes.